This week on the True Geordie Podcast. It's the face of gaming. Ninja. Oh my god, dude! The best who ever have done it! Get out, get out, get out! Going from the underdog, going from the guy during my entire come up on Fortnite for like a solid year. It was just love, right? And then to come down from that high over the last year, all of it's gone. Because when you become the champion, yeah. everyone wants to say you lose your title. Yep. You being signed by Adidas, you're doing back-to-back poses with Beckham. Do you feel like an athlete? I, obviously, yes. When you are the best at something, there should be no negativity towards what you're the best at. Like, you don't even fucking understand what is actually happening and what we are doing and how good these people are that I'm playing against, how good that my team is, and we just sit down when we do it. When they bring an athlete on the TV show, like a Beckham, they don't make them do fucking keep you up whereas with you they're like show us how you play the game yeah, it's really annoying so with Alan I was always like I really want I want to be on the chair I want to I wanted to ask questions yeah. I want to have a great conversation because I, I would I know I'd kill it and then you know it's just like I have like a little one minute we're playing Britney Spears goes on yeah she was able to sit in the chair and and, and get that FaceTime that she had an announcement about an announcement mm-hmm. that was like it and I found it quite interesting that you had a detached retina oh my god at dude. one point like a couple more days or weeks they said I would have been blind kept asking every time I went back and I was like will I be able to like really see out of my eye like f- like actually get Good vision. Boom, the surgery. I had to be away through the whole thing, which is terrifying. I had to look down for a month. Pretty sure I, I, I was depressed for a little bit. Now with my mixer switch, I'm really focused on just uh, providing good content and streaming, and I've actually been a lot happier. The rumors were like 50 million. What was it like to be involved in a deal like that? I'm not saying we were looking to leave. We definitely weren't. We wanted to make it work. All of a sudden, on the most sort of family-friendly, biggest gamers, you know, account, there's fucking porn being advertised. Right. Because- what the hell was your face like when you seen that? Dude, I lost my shit, man. Flossing with so many people. Of course, oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> You had to bring that up. Yeah. One regret. <laughs> One regret, dude. They're all going to dance with you, man. They, they're they out there. They're wearing diapers. They're shitting themselves. They'll do anything. Cold as shit. Mm-hmm. Pouring rain. Yeah. <laughs> man, oh, my God. <laughs> You're a tank, dude. You're a big guy as well. I was no, I mean, but, I mean, I'm like, yeah, tall, but I mean, you're you're massive, dude. I don't weightlift that much, actually. I just used to do a lot. You could have, you could fool me. No, I, so like when I was in my early twenties, I just wait, I did loads, and then after that, I just had to like do a little bit just to stay there. Yeah. yeah. Do you do like regular physical exercise at all? No, man. Are you just so fucking? No, right? I, I run up and down my stairs a lot. That's about it, and uh, that's pretty much the only exercise I got. Well, yesterday we were at the Adidas. Uh, the store, new Adidas yeah. flagship store and we it's were good. up and down the stairs literally like 10 times there yeah. was like six flights of stairs we just kept going up and down up and down up and down and I was like out of breath every time mm-hmm. like met the CEO of Adidas and I'm literally like like sweating on the way up yeah that's like, fucking is mad that, though, is, isn't it? is this guy an athlete or is that uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude it's so it's like it's so funny man because it's like I'm here like I just got you know picked up by Adidas like the last like couple months and meeting the CEO and I'm like <laughs> it's, it's a little Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, Ninja do you, yeah, yeah. do you kind of feel A bit of a hypocrite Having an Adidas clothing Yeah I need to like Get in shape For yeah. real I need, I need to be able to run up Like six flights of stairs And not be out of breath <laughs> Just ask Beckham Like what did he do you Yeah know, do you know what I mean Played well, football he for played 20 football years a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, What was it like meeting him Because he's it's I mean he's an icon over here And you used to play football so. It's incredible man Like I was I didn't know what to expect Right I, I, I kind of just knew that I was going to meet him, right? Mm-hmm. And and when he showed up, I was just like, oh shit. Because yeah. <laughs> he's got this kind of presence as well. To dude, him. Like, he, he it was intimidating, like man. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, he's got the, the, he's literally a dream man, yeah. like top to bottom. Mm-hmm. And uh, and when I actually saw him, I was just like starstruck. I was yeah. Like, Holy shit. Dave Beckham. Oh my God. It's uh, crazy. I was like, hi, hi, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. I he, played Fortnite with his kids, actually, man. They hit me up on Instagram like a year and a half ago, a year ago. So cool. Wow. I played off stream. They're like, they're like, yo, man, do you mind if we play off stream though? I was like, I don't care at all. Let's do it. We just game, got some wins. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, man. So it was like, comes full circle. It was awesome. And then he threw me up on the Instagram story. So I was just. It oh. must be so surreal to look on your Instagram and be like. Sorry, they're just, they're just signing off the camera shot. All good, man. To look on Instagram and be like, is that my. my my face, with on, David. On his, yeah, on 60, his, six, 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 sixty million followers, dude. Yeah, uh, you post about me. All right, thanks, bro. That's like, wild. In England, he is probably like the most famous guy. He's royalty, basically. Yeah, like yeah, basically, he's, he's as famous as Prince Charles, at least. So you being signed by Adidas, you're doing back-to-back poses with Beckham, like two icons of their own world right. coming together. So like, you you belong from an outsider's point of view. That makes sense. But do you feel like? 
you belong next to a Beckham? It's a great question, man. Uh, I think that it felt good when I was next to him. Uh, do I feel like I belong next to him? I don't know, man. He's got like, dude, he's, again, he's, like you just said, I'm not royalty in, in America, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. he's royalty here and he's a legend here and he's a legend everywhere. So, um, I mean, I think it's too too soon, right? I think a lot of this stuff has happened to me in the last two years yeah. and I've, I've put the work in, but I haven't been as big as he has been, as big as he is for as long as he has been. Uh -huh. So, I mean, like realistically, no. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Because I think in, in a lot of other sports as well, um, it that you get like a, a rookie year or those kind of things yeah, yeah yeah and you didn't really get a rookie year you there just really sort of isn't get a like a rookie year i mean if you think about it mm. and in gaming and streaming i mean you put in so much time it's crazy right like i've been again i've been playing video games my entire life in 28 i was playing since like four or five and and streaming for now eight years competing for 10 years so and like again like a lot of that's what you said earlier like ksi has been watching me for a long time everyone thinks i just came up yeah it's like Dude, no way, man. I've been I've been grinding. This it's is just, a real journey. Here. Yeah, it's just that the spotlight hasn't been on gaming or me. And you're making that happen now. And, and the one thing that strikes me is when they do put you <clears throat> on the TV shows with Ellen and whoever else, I'm sure it's happened a lot of times, when they bring, and this is the thing, I think you're breaking down the barriers, but they're still there because no, they're definitely when there. they bring you on a TV show, when they bring an athlete on the TV show, like a Beckham, they don't make them do fucking keep you ups. Right. Whereas with you, they're like, <clears throat> Play the show us how you play the game. Yeah, it's really annoying. Is that get, is that annoying? Is it's it? I mean, I don't mind it because I know what I'm doing. I know yeah. that I'm doing it for the people who don't understand. Like yeah. there aren't a bunch of kids and gamers who are watching the Ellen Show and watching like Jimmy Fallon, even though it, they're great shows, obviously. Mm. But like they're not the audiences. You're doing a favor for us, the, right. the, the gaming fans, in breaking those barriers down. Yeah. But it is a bit. Like, I don't know, I could yeah. only compare it to, I remember, yeah, yeah. <laughs> performing <laughs> chimp, so, uh, like when bodybuilders, I remember back in the day would be on a show, they'd go, right, well, get your shows what you've got, yeah. like, it's a little bit like that, and that's because gaming is still sort of like the subculture, and not mainstream, but you are the first mainstream gamer, Yeah, this ever. is a great way to put it, man, by the way, I, I, I felt weird when I was on shows, and I'd watch other shows, that's a great, that's a great, uh, not perception yeah well, observation did, observation thank yeah. you man really is it was like, weird for me watching that because i was like yeah i feel like i know what it would be like to be him right now it's yeah. so awkward because you're doing yeah. everyone a favor who's on who we're on your team as the online community but at the same time are they are they giving you the respect you deserve right oh man because I was, always, I was there with Alan. I was always like, I really want, I want to be on the chair. I want to, I wanted to ask questions. Yeah. I want to have a great conversation. Because I, I would, I know I'd kill it. But and then you know, it's just like I have like a little one minute. We're playing. Yeah. And then, I, and then you know, I see Britney Spears goes on, and and she, dude, I'm sorry, I have to say, is the stupidest shit, man. She goes on there to announce that she has an announcement. Yeah. She was able to sit in the chair and 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 get that FaceTime that she had an announcement about an announcement, mm -hmm. and then and then that was like it. And, and she just like left after that. And we don't even know what the announcement and, and, was. And, and then we don't even you're know. You're sitting there going, I've been on a journey. <laughs> like, I've got shit to say here. Yeah. If you give me the chance, yeah. I actually can deliver for you here. I'd but you're not it. even entertaining the idea that this man ha may have a, a, something to say. Yeah. So it was really unfortunate. I was, uh, I was a little salty about it. But obviously, of course, I get it. You know, I'm not, I'm not pretty spirited. But, pe but people have like said this about you, like, because uh, now there's so many eyes on you. Yeah. Any time you say anything that might be classed as like controversial, you deserve something. Because oh. you, because you're the first mainstream gamer, you got to be grateful for everything. You're not allowed to act like I've earned this. Yeah. The minute you start going, yeah, I fucking earned this. Yeah. You're you're too good now, and right. then they want to bring you down. Yeah. Have you felt that yet? I mean, I just know that. I, yeah, definitely felt that I need to just completely stay. I mean, I always will stay humble, but I need to always act it as well and, and make sure that uh, I never have that, that. I don't know. I don't even know if I want that, I, uh, I don't know if I want, I don't know if I want to feel like I've earned this, like maybe in front of my family, my wives, and my, my wives, my wife, and stuff like that. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, wow, yeah, okay. uh, revelation. That one. Oh, hold on, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. He's uh, a moral man. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it, I, in front of my family, I, I definitely feel that way. I feel confident yeah. that I've earned it, and they, and they make me feel like that. Um, Can you imagine any other job, though, where, you know, if you're going for a job evaluation, you just work in a normal office, and they, they're like, welcome. Uh, yeah, Tyler, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you feel like you've earned this job? Mm. And you're like, I've, I've been typing. I mean, I've done some good admin, I feel, recently. And they're like, but have you really earned it? Like, yeah. that would be a really weird thing. Do right. you know what I mean? No other, no, no footballer I, do they go, I'm just talking have you about this? Because I feel like I've I earned where I am. And I'm quite proud of the, but I feel like, 
because I'm a bit of an underdog, I can act that way. Right. Whereas when you are the top dog in your field, it's Dude. not people don't like it when you Conor McGregor it a little bit. And ah, I'm not suggesting you go that far. I never will. <laughs> <laughs> ever. Saying no to Ellen and saying, for example, look, I've done the first thing, but next time you know, I want to be treated the same as everyone else and actually have a fucking interview here. Yeah. Uh, if you started acting, I just wonder how people would perceive it. So as a, as, as a well, I don't think they would see that side. Yeah. You don't see that side of people, right? That would be my team reaching out to Ellen's team mm. and being like, hey, you know, Tyler's not going to come on the show. Like that won't ever go public unless, you know, I were to say it. Mm-hmm. But no, I think you're absolutely right. And I've, I've literally witnessed going from going from the underdog going from the guy during my entire come up on Fortnite and getting nothing but love from everyone yeah. i mean my timeline like this is like before the drake stuff during the drake stuff after the drake stuff for like a solid year it was just love just mm-hmm. compliments proud of you you're doing like you're killing it you're repping the gaming community like just non-stop i was like this is incredible mm-hmm. right and then to come down from that high over the last mm-hmm. year where it's like all of it's gone <laughs> No, like, I mean, I have to, I feel like I got a SMD to get like one compliment from mm-hmm. someone now. Mm-hmm. Like, good job, Ninja. You like, know why? What do I have? Because when you become the champion, yeah. everyone wants to say you lose your title yep. now. And that's, that's the side. And it's, it's I like feel that. that. I watch the UFC. The minute someone looks like he's unbeatable, everyone wants him to lose. Yep. And that's basically where, the, where you are now. It sucks, it? man, because mm-hmm. it's like, I don't even, I'm not even like competing as, as much anymore, right? Yeah. So it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm like a LeBron or Michael Jordan, like I'm not like trying to hold my title as the number one gamer in the world, like because that's the thing. It's not, it's not like I dominated the the esports scene for like seven years, right, and won a bunch of tournaments. It's like I was just like the most popular Fortnite gamer, right? Which makes you even harder to take down almost because it's, you can't, yeah, it's not like, a results based business. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. results, but it's not the same. No, results. but it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's you're in, you're entertaining people and you're a competitor, but you're you're not able to be dethroned now because you own. Right. You've like, nailed it as the first mainstream game. Right. They, they can't take you... Because there were so many things that had to align. What is it that you think, if anything, made you the guy and other guys didn't get that? Dude, I saw the game and I was like, this is fun. This this game looks sick. And I went into all the top streamer streams, like Summit, Lyric. I was watching all of them play on Twitch and I was watching them. And they were like, nah, man, the game's not, game's not it. The game's not fun. And I'm looking at it like... This game's incredible. I don't know mm-hmm. what they're talking about. Once they once uh, they up they released a, a accuracy update on the scars and like the weapons and stuff like that. In front of me. I was like, all right, now I'm gonna start grinding it. And I started playing it, and it was just, dude. I think it was. Big, I was one of the first. I was a relatively big streamer. I was averaging five, ten thousand viewers like every day. So I already had the exposure. And then once I started just playing it for a solid month, like I saw an initial dip in viewers because I was playing PUBG before that, uh, and then after it was just nonstop growth for the next year. And it was, I think it was because I was known as one of the best Fortnite players right when it came yeah. out. Yeah, but I'm personally, I don't take the same opinion that everyone else does that you were made by your game. Because looking at you, though, and I'm a bit like this, when you have that level of determination, it's a matter of time, man. It right. It would have been another game. Like, it would have been another game. Dude, because yeah, I mean, I've you, won. I, I've heard interviews with you where you're like, I was watching this, I was watching that. The level of attention to detail that you have up here, not just for playing games, but for watching trends, watching what people are responding to, like, you would have done it anyway. So yeah. I don't subscribe to the Fortnite made you. Don't get me wrong. Thank Great you, that it came along when it did. Oh, hell yeah. But <laughs> Big what, fan. What, yeah. what I mean is, like, personality, style, everything about you, what, what, what is it? If there's one ingredient that goes in the you as a bloke, as Tyler, yeah, what is it that made you the guy, opposed think, to everyone else? Uh, the 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 hybrid of of being entertaining and being good at the game. That's the number one thing that yeah. number the two number one traits that you need to be a top yeah. streamer and YouTuber if you're like a gamer, right? You have to be really good because you have to be able to teach people. You have to be able to just be so effing good that you entertain them like just literally by watching you. They don't even, you don't need to even need to talk. They yeah. can watch your gameplay. You're shitting on kids so hard that they're entertained, right? But if you can also on top of that be like freaking out and reacting. Yeah. In, in, Which in is actually, really hard. Oh that, yeah. <laughs> as you see. Oh that, yeah, man, you were getting dude, lost in your I'm a big your personality. Battlefield, when man. I'm on a game, fucking it's off. Do you know what I mean? But it's also because it, I, I lose otherwise if I'm not yeah. concentrating. Whereas you right. are so good, you don't have to. You can just be like, yeah, yeah what were you saying? Yeah. That, that is quite interesting because I think you've got a similar quote to what we, we do like five, six hour live streams at a time, but watching football. You were saying if you're on a 10 hour live stream, you are yourself. Like you've got to be yeah. relaxed because you can't keep that facade oh, up for bro, 10 let hours. Let me tell you something. I mean, I, I love YouTube. I do. 
I, I watch it all the time, but you know, fuck YouTube. <laughs> you like YouTubers. I mean, like just look at all of like the top, like not all, I don't want to, and obviously I'm not calling anyone out specifically, but yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, you know, like literally it's like, okay, are we recording? recording yo what's going on guys and then and then it's like okay wait a minute you guys want to redo that one yeah, oh, yeah we'll redo that. yeah and then and and like you literally create Persona, what you want yeah. people yeah. to 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 see you as and as a streamer it's the exact it's so so much harder bro mm. like it is so hard you are it's you that's it 10 hours mm. like I'm, i can't i'm not gonna fake my being a, a personality for 12 hours every single day of my life and you can't do it. No. And that's also it, what blows, dude, is like, God, the amount of clickbait I had on, on Twitch, bro, because yeah. they catch everything. You're gonna fuck up, man. You're gonna yeah. say something yeah. you shouldn't say. And like, and, and, and like, dude, like, I said some shit with Drake and, uh, and, and it got picked up on. And I was like, and I immediately, as I said it, I was like, you know what, dude? Nah, nah, that, that's not it. Yeah. But like, it. Well, everything like, else, can I pull those they, words? They, back? They, yeah. I, literally, I was like, you, I mean, dude, you say shit that you just don't mean sometimes. Mm. Like, literally, I'm, I'm like, I literally was like, why did I even say that? That's not true. And then I literally said, nah, man, that's not true. Because we they all cut do that, that they shit just out. Cut out. We all yeah. do what you've just said, though. We all have we have conversations in our head where we go, yeah, I think this, that, and the other. And then you hear, you play it back, and you go, I'm talking shit. Yeah, you know. But when you're saying Every out loud day. on a Twitch stream, and you've done literally thousands of hours of it. I mean, that's it's, it. It's yeah. out there. Yep. Not and only it, that, but you're you're also concentrating on two things. So a lot of people, I think, speak in their daily lives. The only thing you got to concentrate on is saying the words. Mm -hmm. You're not also being asked to then play a competitive game at the same time yeah. and be like high level as well. Though. Yeah. Well, not to, not to mention you're you're playing right. You're yeah. zoned in. You're focused. You're maybe even talking to someone in the game that you're playing with, and then someone like donates a message. You half read it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You give a half response to it. <clears throat> And, and you're just like, fuck, dude, you didn't yeah. read. Yeah. And then you're just, wait, wait, hang on. Let me reread that yeah. again. And then they, that, they don't care about that part. That part's like, I'll cut out. Which is why, dude, being YouTuber is a lot easier too, though. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Jesus, bro. Absolutely. You say, see, they see what you, I mean, dude, you see that with the one clip of the girl who accidentally uploaded. The, the dog. dog. The dog. I knew where you were going with that. <laughs> so she, she basically. The wrong edited version. Right, so, so this girl, that, this girl basically edited. accidentally uploaded the unedited version of her being with, she was like a fucking basic YouTuber. And she was beating her dog up spitting on her dog treating yeah. her like shit she accidentally uploaded that and you see like the real her right but and this we about a year ago i said on a podcast like youtubers are actors like you think you know them you don't, you don't fucking that know is them. that is a youtuber literally mm -hmm. right there what you just saw like that like the unedited like fuck um okay hey guys yeah, exactly. no, shit. and then like fuck out yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. If, like, you, if you take logan for example like um if you watch the logan uh vlogs from ages ago and then logan on his podcast yeah i mean there's two different people oh 100 so i think he's also decided that he wants to not be that crazy absolutely, guy anymore but yeah, well, i respect but, that but you're he's also, a good example for that but you're no yeah i mean dude there are there's um TMZ footage of like of jake paul doing you know recording a youtube video right and you see and it's there's watching him and he's yeah. recording and then you see him like literally he's like okay go guys what's up man he's like holding the yeah. camera up and then he, and then he they no nah, no nah, he puts it down and then he yeah. like gets up again and he, yo and then they're like all right we're, we're good we're done and then they like they just like walk away yeah. mm. and like that where's that energy at like that's not the person that they are all the time mm. and, and, and that's and that's 95 percent of youtubers and that's, that's not necessarily yeah. wrong but if you're a piece of shit in real life and so you're probably. pretending to be this like i mean it's it's fake, man. Did you find that when you were first streaming, uh, do you think do you think the, the streamer you and the normal you have sort of come together? The exact same person, dude. I don't really? I don't the only thing I turn off now is is swearing a lot. Uh -huh. And and I, and that took a long time of yeah. like I mean and the dude the language, man, like the gaming lingo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You could pretty much say whatever you wanted to back in the day. I mean, you, you see those old Call of Duty Modern Warfare lobbies where you yeah. should just call each other a bunch of homo shit and like yeah. Yeah, and, and like and then at the end of the game it's like, oh GG man. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like no one actually means what they're saying. Yeah. But yeah, I had a, I mean, yeah, I was saying like, yeah. It's bad shit. Yeah, so, that's the only thing I turn off now. It's are very you, easy. Are you ever worried about that coming back to haunt you? Because now you are I the say guy. Super bad. You know, just like like i mean yeah just some really ratchet shit yeah. nothing wrong nothing like nothing racist nothing ever crazy but like yeah i'm like i'll you know f you in the ass bro and then, <laughs> yeah you know and then, we've all said it we've all said it we all said yeah. it dude yeah. like am i actually gonna go to this dude and 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 you know have some bro stuff going on absolutely not there's a zero percent chance yeah and am i being serious zero point zero one zero point zero one yeah. i mean there's always a very <laughs> low repeating. i mean there's always this very low possibility never yeah, know, yeah. Man. i mean never say never <laughs> yeah like, exactly <laughs> never know i do find that interesting though because i also feel like if you're not part of that generation you don't really get 
get that thing. You don't. But, yeah. At all. And so parents will sometimes probably watch and be like, they the kids no are just, idea. they understand it. Yeah. And all, but also again, and this is why I really cleaned up my language too. And like how I was talking is because, you know, anyone from the age of five to 14, 15, I mean, shit, bro. I wouldn't start, I didn't start thinking for myself. Till I was like late twenties. Mm. Um, they won't know if I'm being serious or not, which Absolutely. is like, which is why, which is why those YouTubers, and I, I keep bringing them up and there's nothing wrong with it. I want to keep saying that. Like it's, it's even more important for them to, to be, be good examples because these kids they they see that and it's a facade but they don't know that it's a facade and they see it and they're like oh this is that person this is who they yeah, are I, I must admit, I'm there's, do. I there's some yeah. youtubers who whenever i have anything to do with them whether i'm in their videos or uh talk about them or anything like that as, as much as i know them yeah we're cool their audience they've bought into every single thing so yeah. like my every dms instantly blow up full of like 14 year old sort of Iranian kids who are questioning their sexuality and they're just saying mad shit about me like and I'm like like every time I do anything with do you know what I mean do so not piss off it, it, be, it becomes boy. like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but one thing I'm taking away from this yeah. podcast. It, it is it is difficult uh, uh do you class yourself as a role model now then oh 100 percent, man of course I mean I see so many kids all the time like little kids man like five-year-olds mm. six-year-olds and that's actually one thing that I don't even think like I have a young audience man but I have a, a, an older audience too they're, I mean, they're like five-year-olds wearing like ninja merch and stuff. Like Absolutely. we have merch in uh, in Primark here. We have it all over London, um, and and now going a lot more over Europe. And there's like the youth stuff, bro. It's been like flying off, flying off the shelves. Mm. It's like, dude, this five-year-old doesn't know what you know anything is. <laughs> any, any five-year-old, this is no shit. Can he's walking around with ninja merch. You're like, almost it's cartoon so like now in terms of like how branded you become. Like I you, like that, by the way. That's kind of what we're going you've for. You kind of become like a, an icon, an icon in that regard you're not, you're not even the guy anymore yeah. you're, you're a symbol for what they yeah. like that was as the much goal, as man. and that was all the master plan 100 percent. when once once like six six months of like blowing up massive i'm averaging like 100 hundred thousand viewers every single day and then fortnite kind of like slowly started to go down we knew it would right obviously and which it happens with everything. I was like, all right, how are we going to solidify like you know me as uh, as the gamer, the streamer, the Fortnite, whatever? And it was just making Ninja. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do was definitely be more like cartoony ish, mm -hmm. like not a, I don't want to say not a person, but your yeah, kind of like a character, yeah, yeah right. And that's what we're we're doing a lot of stuff like your broadening's like genius, bro. Thank you, man. Well done. Man. Uh, I, you know, it's funny. I got so much shit for like. It's people don't know me, man. I, I, so many people think like I stop swearing, and everyone's like, "Oh, he's selling out because he he wants to make money off little kids." It's mm -hmm. like, what the fuck's wrong with you? I I don't want I don't want a little five year old running around screaming, you know, a bunch of profanities and yeah. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, like for example, it, I'm the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, you're, exactly. You're not. The, you, it's the direction <laughs> that you were already in. Like. They're watching you anyway. With me, five year olds aren't watching a fucking podcast. Right. So I can say whatever the, whatever I want. But if I was in your position. They're in the big blue house. They yeah. think it's that. But, but if I was in your position and I, I had them there, you got to make the adjustments. You yeah. almost didn't have much of a choice. Yeah. It's not like it. I don't think it changes your content all that much, though. Because I think it after really, a while. I mean, there, you got to watch some of my old videos, man. I was. Ah. <laughs> no, you were quite wild at one point. Wild, yeah. bro. I literally. I, I, I like I get so I get so like I blush, bro. When I I'm like, holy shit. Oh yeah, I'm I the same. Some of the, I was like, that came out of my mouth, man. Yeah. I mean, but dude, it's just I was I love gaming so much. I love talking shit, and that like that was one of my ways of entertaining, right? Was and this was dude again. This was before like little kids even really really got into gaming, like blowing up. Like Fortnite changed all that. Like H one Z one PUBG, I was mm. dude. Like my average audience was eighteen for sure, like sixteen to twenty some. They're much so. more serious as well. I feel like maybe Fortnite kind of helped you do that because it is a bit more animated. It if is. If you've come up, oh, you know, on Halo or something, or you know, you were like yeah. a really serious game. Yeah. You almost can't break out and be cartoony because it's just so at odds with what I, you're actually doing. I, I tried really hard to do that in, in Halo Reach. I was doing one v ones, and that's what I was known for, just being a fucking goofball. Mm. And it was really difficult in four v fours because there's a lot. Like I'm worried about four people spawns and what and all that shit. But when it was just one person, like I knew all the spawns. I only have to worry about one guy, and if I have all the power weapons, I can be the biggest douche in the world and just like goof around. And that's what, so. Um, I'm kind of fascinated how your brain works because there's clearly something uh, going on with this brain that makes you this good. <laughs> because no one else is that good, pretty much. Like, yeah. I'm sure there's competitive gamers out there probably watching now. There are a lot of tactical guys that out there, guy. man. But you're fucking way better than the average person like me. What do you, how do you, is there thought patterns that you think you've got that enable you to be fucking great at gaming? Is there something that you do? That's a great question, man. I think it really is just 
time in and practice like i put in i've been gaming my entire life right so on on pc on xbox i played playstation i played sega dreamcast uh, sega genesis everything n64 you name it i played it i've held a controller so i think all that and then just playing so many different games it's like i it's obsessive yeah no i mean i'm obsessed with video games for sure in a good way um clearly but if you play enough video games and you play enough genres you pretty much just it, it just stays in my head i know how to play every game now right so if i play a new fps it's going to take me all, all i need to know is how, the movement the movement's the only thing i really have to learn the weapons are going to be pretty simple and then it, unless a, a new so you treat every game out. the same almost i mean fps's and and yeah. uh stuff right i mean yeah absolutely do you have a dream about gaming because every that? night of my life really i mean i dream so much about i go to bed right now and all i see oh for the last because i've been scrimming and practicing a lot in fortnite lately to to compete again and all i see are edits like really? when, you, when you like edit a window and a door and all that shit like i literally go to bed and i just i i box myself i'm not in my head i box myself into a pyramid and then I like i like edit in my head that's wow. fucking it's mad, weird man i can't stop either i can't stop thinking about it man i i think everyone's had that at some point they've played enough of a game you've definitely had it with gta yeah. where you start to like imagine the mobile phone you start getting out of cars and yeah. beating the shit out of people with bats well, <laughs> it's fun, <laughs> funny you say that uh, it, but it's also like the, <laughs> that's the, another story you start to get that like as a kid i remember being like oh my god i'm so obsessed with this game i like, can't wait I, to wake up in the morning to play but you yeah. also start to think that that's like real life so you start to think you can do those kind, not in like, like a weird not, way but no. there is that kind of strange like i had moments where i was like rpgs maybe yeah never shooters no not shooters <laughs> uh, <laughs> But definitely, yeah. I uh, played Final Fantasy XI and MMO for like yeah. 12 years of my life. And I, yeah, I was like, dude, I wish this game was have, real. Life. Have you yeah. ever had uh, interviewers come at you on the, the link between video games and violence in America and all so that stupid, shit? Man. You ever had that? All the time. Yeah? I mean, with a lot of like uh, uh, the older, the boomers. Yeah, right? yeah. Because they don't, that's, a, I mean, that's the only thing they can see. Oh, video games and violence. It's like, listen, dude, all right? It's fucking simple. <laughs> don't let your 10 year old play a radar game, okay? Just like you wouldn't let your 11 year old walk in and watch Saw, all right? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Like they're super impressionable and they shouldn't be watching people get sawed in half and like tortured and, and like that's mm-hmm. going to mess them up, man. Whereas Fortnite is, I think Fortnite is- Fortnite is, is so cartoony, man. Yeah. So it's- So it's, distant. It's so, there's no blood. There's when you get eliminated, your guy like falls over and like just kind of like evaporates. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, by, he gets like sucked up by like a little robot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like he just kind of like disappears. You can't believe this is real basically. Yeah, yeah it's not. There's no it's danger. Not, it's not. There's, dude, it's not, man. And like another thing with violence, man, or not violence, but like when a kid freaks out in a video game, it's like if you're, would you be pissed if your child lost in basketball or football, um, football, and and like got really mad after? Like would you, would you be like, you need to calm down? Mm. Right, like you just lost. You lost a clutch game. Uh, uh, it was one. It was two one. You blew the lead. Some shit. Like, and, and now your son's mad. Like, you're t- t- no matter what age. Like, are you gonna be as a parent? Be like, you need to calm down. But if you lose in a video game and someone literally just dominated you, mm-hmm. and you take that competitively as well, and your kid starts to you know kind of get mad and freak out a little bit, it's like it's literally the same thing. Competition. Now there's a little too obviously yeah. you know, there's rage and then there's anger. Yeah, but. Competition's big to you. Do, you. do you think there's been a bit of an attack on uh, competition in the youth? Because uh, I don't know about in America, but like there's things that they're doing away with in this country where they're like, you know, um, is it sports day and shit? They're changing sports day. So it's all about like, uh, we have like a kids Olympics at schools and yeah, sometimes. Okay. And they've been like doing away with that shit. That's such a great just, way of just, saying sports day. Yeah, just, just to, just to do away with it because kids can't take losing and shit like this. And um, Dude, we're too soft, man. Yeah. It, I think com- shit. competition great for a kid it's, competition is everything yeah. for a kid. it can also it, I, I think that's part of it though. it feels shit when you it lose can it. ruin some people like, that's part of the problem is I think that they're, they're trying to like they're trying to minimize Tough, the ruining that's life bitch yeah, yeah, that's, get that's, used that's, to it that, it's literally you can't it, though. bro think about it man take, like, it's like this take your take. Uh, I love this and uh, just thinking like this bro like get remove this remove this building remove society remove the, the government remove all that shit we're living in the wild okay you're gonna get eaten or you're gonna eat. Like, you're gonna kill this tiger or he's gonna kill you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's how it is. And that's how that's how we we're programmed. Mm-hmm. That's how we were literally, that's how mm-hmm. we evolved was just survival, right? We're literally slowly taking away those, like, oh, you don't like to woosh, mm-hmm. it's okay. I it's feel like, okay. have you ever what do you people, mean? Have you ever had people get really, uh, you know, bitchy about the fact that you've killed them in a game before? Oh, all the time. Yeah. You talk, oh, you mean like people like just raging? Maybe other other big online personalities. Oh. Or, or even just kids raging. He hasn't spoken to Drake in five years. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's, been, yeah. it's been forever. No. Mm. <laughs> uh, dude, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone, 
this one kid was like really like in in competitive so i was like spraying him across the map like during like the late zone rotation he like tweeted at me and was just like i know you're new to this so here's a pro tip and like gave me some advice i was like what the fuck? did you oh, oh right. I, I, I replied i was like thank you for the professional advice and like yeah. smiled and yeah. i was like what an idiot man um, but other online personalities they don't no, no one big i don't think anyone big has ever like bitched me for killing him yeah. in the game or anything like that i don't think that's it's wrong to go at the person at the very top. Yeah, so like, that's the hardest. Don't go for the king if you miss. It's, so it's hard to miss against me. Everyone is uh, it hates me on YouTube, man. It's besides really? besides like you, like it's so weird, man. I've seen the tuck videos on you. I did watch a few. I'm not going to say who did them because that's obviously right. that's what they're hoping. They're for. also good friends. Uh, they're definitely not. They're not. No. Um, <laughs> I watched one kid who was really moaning about you a lot. When you watch a video like that, I don't watch them. Uh, have you not watched them? I can't. I just can't ignore them. Really. Yeah, when, because they're just wrong. They don't know me. Yeah. yeah, and they don't know like, dude, like when I made the switch over to mixer man so many there's this one dude on twitch he's in the biggest douche i've ever seen in my entire life and he just made this video rant and literally i listened to like 30 seconds of it and the first 30 seconds was all bullshit and all the wrong reasons yeah. and i just didn't listen to the rest of it i must admit that, that's the one thing if, if you're making a full and complete argument about something i've done wrong and you say well these are the good points these are the bad points and then this is the conclusion i've come right. to but what they tend to do is very politician like where they give you half an argument only the stuff that benefits what they're saying yep. and ignore all the actual truth a lot of the time. There's nothing I can even do about it, man. Yeah. Like, I, I can't, it's so stupid. Like, I have so many videos on YouTube that I, I can't I can't address them all. That yeah, are, that are all, that like them. take just little things and it's yeah. just like, bro, like I had a kid come up to me on Halloween two years ago and we were running out of candy and I was like, yo, man, you guys want some signed ninja merch? And they were like, oh my God, dude, that'd be amazing. Went in the house, grabbed some signed ninja merch, gave it to him. And they're like, man, all our friends said you were a total dick, man. You're not mean at all. I'm like, what kind of fucking videos are these kids give watching? Me that fucking that, t-shirt. Right, give me that yeah. shit back. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, so it's so. Tell them, tell me where they live. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. kids, just like, uh, who knows? Who knows what videos they're watching? Like, how many people think I'm just like this big douche? It's yeah. like, I can't. It comes to the territory a little bit, I guess. Yeah, the bigger you get, no one's th making there's, there's shit videos about David Beckham. Fuck David Beckham, <laughs> you know, and here's why. Yeah. That in someone the intro. Wants to, he kicked a dog two weeks later. Some dude's like, "Fuck you, David." Yeah. I know That's you kicked that dog. Like that doesn't happen. No one makes. I want to get to that level. I want to hit. I'm trying to hit. I'm trying to hit. I've been talking with my team about this. I'm trying to hit rock level. Right. Eventually, where it's like the dude could shit on the street and people would just be like, "Unbelievable!" Dwayne, I can smell what the rock is shitting. Dwayne, <laughs> Dwayne, like, dude. <sighs> He's just, he's untouchable in the greatest way. He's such a good person. It's so funny right? you should mention him. I was literally like looking at his Instagram earlier today and I was like, this guy's having the best life of all. It's time. the greatest, man. He works out. He's just a great dude. He does great things for people. And like, I, dude, I do, I feel like I do great things for people. He's I too perfect though. But he's too perfect. How does he achieve? Like, kills he, babies. I he feel like, babies. you know those yeah, movies where they've something. got like yeah. a time stop and he can do more in the day. Like, he seems to do so much with his days and I'm sitting like, I'm sitting on my underpants at like 11 a.m. You yeah. know what I mean? The thing is, he is in his underpants, but he's just working out in it's, his yeah, underpants. It's just that he's just been working out he for just like five hours straight. Yeah. And he's eating 10,000 calories. The thing is, though, it, 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 that I do wonder that with you because actually, when you see, when like chatting to you now, you're a little bit sarcastic, you're quite funny. Yeah. The Rock Thank you. can't, you're a little bit funny. That you can't really, <laughs> The Rock cannot go out there and just have a day where he's like, fuck all this shit. Like, I don't want to do like, that. Like, you're quite or, loose and you're being yourself. Yeah. Like, I feel like The Rock is always in the, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. you're actually, like, he's in this there. mode of like, movie star all the time. Maybe I mean, he's just, maybe that's just him, dude. But people yeah. don't realize Imagine that. he wakes up and he's just like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you do get the thing. The Rock maybe could be that one guy who does that. Could, but there if are the some Rock, people. Just, uh, I'm just going to go off to topic. Yeah. Sure. If The Rock, you know, you met him one day yeah, yeah. and he lent in for I a kiss. Him. Do you kiss him back? Oh, absolutely. I kiss him. Yeah. I, I think I'd, I'd probably. What kiss if he the slips rock. the tongue uh -huh. in? Do you? Do I don't know about that. I don't know about that. that. Come on. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe an ass wow. We've only just met the people's tongue. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. He is handsome though. Yeah. If you're going to go, I'm just saying. Would you take a bit of the Rock bottom? That's all I'm asking. All right. Jesus Christ, man. These We're talking about you being an earlier i do find this sort of debate or um or game can gamers be athletes i don't expect us to do that because we could do that for an hour but do you feel like an athlete absolutely like uh, a lot of people just don't i don't know man I, obviously yes like when you when you it's like this dude when you are the best at something like it should you sh it shouldn't even there should be no negativity towards what you're the best at like you no know, just because we're not running miles doesn't mean we're not literally the best of what we're doing like i'm playing fortnite right let's say i'm the best player in the world at fortnite we just won a bunch of tournaments and someone's like oh no you're sitting down man real 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 good job it's like you don't even fucking understand 
Mm -hmm. what is actually happening and what we are doing Mm -hmm. and how good these people are that I'm playing against, how good that my team is. And it's like, they don't, they don't see that. They see they're the, the older generation really sees people as, oh, you're just sitting down. And it's like, dude, you don't understand the only difference between esports and actual, I say actual, Jesus Christ. Um, Go send then, then athletes that are like, you know, your typical, you know, you're running around your football, American football, all that shit is, is that we just sit down when we do it. Mm-hmm. All right. That's literally the only difference. Everything that's going on up here mentally, like the, the mental preparation, the, the time in the hours is the exact same. I think your mentality is very, very athletic. Like as in like the, the yeah. eye of the and tiger. Like, exactly. You've got that and about, you have to, you have to. Yeah. And you, again, you're, 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 it's a bit like archery and it's a bit like um, people who play snooker and other um, hand-eye coordination sports. So yeah. To me, they're clusters sports. Um, to me, if snooker is a sport, if archery is a sport, Gaming is there's, darts. There's literally, but, if but darts that, is a sport, there's literally, it's not like these people are in the, in the freaking gym doing like finger curls. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, this guy's athletic. <laughs> yeah. That's just the off, that's the off season. It's you don't do it during the season. Come on, man. Come you on. don't hit the gym like that. It's not like, seriously, yeah. like look at that pure athleticism right there. It's like, dude, shut do up. You, do you ever think though, because you can obviously look back and uh, you know, when you first look when a, a football club was set up or when basketball first started or whatever, it looks so basic when you look back then and you're yeah. like, look at the way even the kits look different those kind of things yeah. you kind of wonder whether because you're in that first wave of people people it's it almost feels generational Do you, yeah. like, you're at the very start of it yeah like in I 50 know, years time though. you're going to be I don't know if you know who this is but like Pele yeah like we have an old or, player in football who's like the, the original goal like yeah. you're going to be looked upon but like a Maradona like he was the, or, the original if guy. I if I can if I will be if that is I hope so man that's why I, that's all I, I want that I maybe want don't be, be like Pele though because he did uh, Viagra alright yeah uh, <laughs> ads, and that got a bit weird we got the blue hair man yeah. it's, a, it's a natural integration I I'm just saying tell you right now, it's man. an easy listen boys if you when see you hit me, the mid 30s do you, you know me, what I mean if you see me advertising a pill man I've hit rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, those brain pills come with big money. You know I've, know lo- I mean? I've lost all my saved up revenue. I'm broke. Do you ever think about, because uh, obviously you get to meet a lot of people. You must get to meet a lot of CEOs, people who are just sort of, you know, they, they love gaming, but they also love technology, those kind of things. Do you ever think about where gaming is going and kind of the evolution of that? Because I mean, I want it to just be full blown, like put put a headset on, like like a VR headset on and like go and do a world. Because that's my that's my dream. I want to be alive. I want to be alive. And I think I will be. 60 years, we got that in the bag. But I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be alive when I can just full, you know, Ready Player One that shit. Let's be honest, though. You you got the money for cryogenic freezing, so you you'd be good if you just if you want to wait it out. Do you know what I, yeah, it come does back. Does not actually years, exist. Good. I feel uh, like it's it probably does though. It it definitely does. But do you awesome uh, powers? You're not seeing it. The, the point is when when you get to that point where it's based uh, on a true story. When you're putting yeah. a headset on and stuff, that then is much more like real sports because you maybe have to build a character up or those kind of things. Who knows, I think yeah. the lines between the two might get a little bit blurred by like twenty. 30. I, here's what I think. I think it doesn't matter. I think that the older generation's opinions don't matter because they'll be dead soon. Just like, <laughs> just like when, you know, like another, another <laughs> sport comes up in the next 20 years when we're old mm-hmm. and, and we are like, no, this isn't a sport. This isn't esports. This isn't whatever. It's like, just like our opinions won't matter. We'll be fucking dead. It's like, who cares? Yeah. We don't like, dude, gaming does not need old like, people we don't need old people Fuck no old like people. we really no <laughs> i love I, I, obviously i love old people i love i love every generation nah ever. man without but, bill gates you wouldn't be playing you, as soon but as like, you hit 50 dude, euthanasia all the way we're I'm dominating it's to be the euthanasia oh this is, what do they call it no it is euthanasia is it all right <laughs> you know what i'm saying we're dominating like the gaming industry is absolutely dominating we don't need any we don't need an older audience mm-hmm. so you know everyone's always like trying to justify it to the older generation i was just like dude doesn't matter just wait 10 years we're fine do you ever i mean you probably do i mean i, I experience this anyway because we do a lot of live streaming not as much as you yeah uh, do you ever get burnout and just need breaks or it only when like there's a lot of negativity that's going on all right i, I can i can stream and grind forever uh-huh. i can play video games forever um it's when yeah there's like some drama involved and shit like that where i need to like just step away or you know i find that as well yeah mentally as, Men- i'm, it, I'm it, as it's, strong it's, as it gets but like there's times i'm like do you need a time away from it, it the all. human mind is not made for millions of people to know about them and to watch them do things and to talk shit to you yeah do you ever do, <laughs> you know because I don't know about you but when I see the zeros next to a view button I'm like yeah it, I don't even think about it but like obviously the level you're at now it just it must be almost unavoidable sometimes to be aware of it oh dude I'm it's also really important to understand your your numbers and your views mm. like you have to you can't, I can't I can't just like you know turn off my 
I can't just completely yeah, you seem ignore. You pay quite a bit of attention to the stats and stuff, don't you? Yeah, you have to, yeah. man. Um, I think now, now with my mixer switch, I'm actually I'm not. I'm really focused on just uh, providing good content and streaming, and I've actually been a lot happier. So that's been really nice. Just yeah. like can grinding. we talk about that? A bit? I yeah. love to, man. Yeah. Um, because from from my point of view, uh, I look at whenever um, KSI and Logan, for example, break through, get a huge deal with a, with the pay per view thing. I'm like, this is great for everyone. Yeah. you're helping everyone here. Yeah. And when I see in that, I was like, mate, you're doing all sort of things yeah. by doing this because you're giving the power back to the yeah. to the gamer. Now, yeah. If if and this isn't and you know not on Twitch, but like you know you're you're proving the worth. Of the, of the creator there. Uh, what was it like to be involved in a deal like that? Dude, it was, uh, I mean, dude, groundbreaking, game-changing, what we and it was what we wanted to do. It, I'm not saying we were looking to leave. We definitely weren't. We wanted to make it work. Um, mm -hmm. It was actually just, uh, it was a very difficult process, man, for uh, for a lot, you know, eight months, six, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm allowed to say. But uh, yeah, if, we tried to make it work, didn't work, and we're like, all right, let's. With, with Twitch, yeah. So, so there was renegotiations yeah. going on, and then, uh, and, and we, and then did they break down before you talked to Mixer, or did Mixer come in? No, we, I mean, we gave him like a lot. We gave him so many, like, hey, listen, what are you guys doing? Like, we're not asking for a lot, mm -hmm. and I'm not even talking about money. Like, there wasn't even. We were, we just wanted like a little bit more freedom, and they just weren't budging. And then we were, and we talked with Mixer, and it was like, bro two weeks and then and all the negotiations were like all right like done. perfect done wow. And wow it was so simple so quick did you have any apprehension about that though because it's fair to say that mixer wasn't a, a platform the size of twitch at uh, it's not even close the the statistics are like they get like five percent of the viewership and, and and that wasn't what i was really worried about i i knew what i knew what it was going to do for a lot of other streamers and a lot of other gamers and that was like the yeah. that was like what i kept telling myself in the back of my head obviously the deal was great yeah. and and um and i really do love the platform it's incredible but i knew i was like my wife and i we went into this like we're doing this for everyone else yeah. it's gonna be and look what happened man we got people being re-signed to twitch we got people moving to youtube and mm. now more people being signed and making deals and it's like it's how it should be it's also pretty amazing though because when i flicked on my xbox yesterday um my xbox one um i you're there like right at the very top it's like how cool is that man? now which is you're getting like when i put my phone on i've got to kind of navigate there but when you put your xbox on and you're on the very front page of it Boom. that's almost like another level just, yeah just to go back to the deal because uh, obviously at one point uh, you were you know naturally like we all do we, we're, we're going to get deals and they're coming to us it's a bit of both and at this point you're now the most sought after guy I mean let's be honest even Logan and, and, and JJ and PewDiePie like you are the guy right now that all the brands want because you've got this sort of value that no one else has uh, to go from those deals back in the day, which were obviously a lot smaller, to now like they're begging for you and you're basically calling your, your shots. Yeah. Um, what was it like to be in that position? It was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's pretty much. Did, it, did they make you feel wanted and good yes, and stuff? Man. As opposed to uh, Twitch, who were clearly Mixer did. fucking you around a bit. Yeah. Mixer made. I, that, that's all. Dude, it was. It's like, dude, that was my home. I don't want to get too into it, but like that was my home, and yeah. and, and and to to struggle like we did to to come to like an agreement for as long as we did, it was like really, you know, like what the fuck, man. So, but then we went over, you know, make sure they were just like it was so easy, it was so awesome, and uh -huh. and I've been uh, at their studios and t I'll talk to all, a lot of their head, higher ups and. It's just a, it's just a great company, man, and they're really passionate about it. How, for, for those who don't know, because uh, people might not know, yeah, yeah. this was like an unprecedented mm. deal. Like I, the rumors, I'm not going to ask you what they were, but the, the rumors were like 50 million and all sorts of numbers. Wow, huge, that's mind blowing. Huge, huge, <laughs> huge numbers that yeah. are like groundbreaking. Like no, like let's not be. You broke fucking records. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, and the, the problem, the sad thing was. I think that Twitch handled it really badly after as well. Oh, bro. Like, you clearly, talk about it? Yeah. You didn't take it uh, well. And all of a sudden, on on the most sort of family friendly, biggest gamers, you know, account, there's fucking porn being advertised. Right. Be what the hell was your face like when you seen that? Well, we didn't. So we, we knew that they were advertising other streams, every single top stream on my stream, on my actual page. And I wanted to say something. But I was like, I, people would just flame me for it. Like, There'd be too many people who are like, "Oh well, you left, man. Whatever they can do, what they want." Yeah. And then, then the uh, the unspeakable happens. Then that Russian porn get, gets up there, and it's on my page being advertised to you know the apparently millions of people that were like trafficking to the page. Um, and I was just, dude, I lost my shit, man. I, I got freaked out. I got a, my buddy sent me a picture of it, and I was just like, "Holy shit!" 
Like I, I made the video and I was just appalled, man. And I, I knew I knew was something that was going to happen. Did man. you think it was deliberate, or did you feel oh, like it was going to happen? No, 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 no. I think, I think, I do think that someone probably saw that the top whatever whoever was on the top of Fortnite would be on my page, and then definitely did that for sure. I think, I think that happened. Obviously, it wasn't Twitch had nothing to do with it, but someone definitely was like, "Oh shit! If I, I if I do this, I, I can get on like the front of Ninja's page." Mm. Boom. And, it, and then and then oh dude and didn't didn't the ceo I, I, he didn't I, even apologize did, he, he he claimed it was a uh uh dude a freaking like a, a work in progress program that they were doing where they recommend other streamers when you're offline yeah. i was like what recommend other streamers from top to bottom and literally number one number two number three number four number five there's nothing proprietary about this this software that they were it was literally just the number one fortnite streamer on my page then the number two then the number three it wasn't like they were like here's the an up-and-coming fortnite yeah, no it was yeah. bullshit it was top five guys who were live at all times was being advertised it was a total f- just some bullshit it's kind of like man. a movie mo- like a social network type moment it, it, you know it's, it's very like the facebook movie this yeah bit. like i can imagine a movie of your life it's just your <laughs> face being like what the fuck yeah i and was ugh. didn't the ceo from what i remember that almost the day they announced the mixer thing i'm sure there was a tweeted laughing face he was he like was that. um was a statement no no my, my my wife was like she like he used to work for twitch Okay. So it was like he still had it in his bio that he was like the president or something like that. So he was right. like this, something like that. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, you're right, but he he wasn't currently active at Twitch. Or it was like a that. salty fucking tweet oh, yeah. that he put out straight yeah. off the belt, like a laughing face. I'm like, yep. bro. There's a lot. There's only, there's only one person laughing right now, and they're on the way to the bank. <laughs> yeah, it's called Kyla. Yeah, Do you man. Know what I mean? Dude, and then they handled you know shroud leaves, and they give him a perfect goodbye tweet video and a compilation of all of his top clips, and they're like, "We'll miss you." It's like, fuck you, man. I suppose you wanna. Uh, like, I, I mean, you know, I, I it's. It, I mean, I'm happy they're learning. They they obviously handled shroud perfectly, right? It's how they they should have handled my situation. Um, but I'm just salty about it. Is all. Yeah, because because now they they know they can't fuck people around the way they did yeah. with you. <laughs> now when they leave, no way, bro. Yeah, yeah. There's an option. It's like why why would you? You're, you you know what childish, you did? man. I don't know if you're a wrestling fan at all, but you you basically created WCW WWE all over again. Like there's now two people fighting over all the talent, but they, without you making the move, you were basically Hulk Hogan. You know, I'm, I'm just creating this. In no, my it's head. good. There is. Do you like it? And following that, <laughs> like I, I, I did like it. I don't know if you're Hulk Hogan. Um, <laughs> Something like sexually. That, yes. I think um, <laughs> the, physically. Yeah, physically, you're Not an ident. Um, when you're on a platform like we're on YouTube, you can feel wedded to that platform because you're like, well, that's where my numbers are. That's where my people are. And a lot of people never think about leaving the platform. Yeah, you're building a home. It you feels can't like leave a YouTube home. First yeah. of all, there's no. And and do you know what it is? There's no yeah. other. The way you fucking jumped over there and dragged so many people with you it was fantastic i yeah. was like it's cool to be a part of it right now man. You. it's not even stopping bro because yeah. oh, like, no. also you're told but it was so fast the amount of the rumors in the industry no one ever really hears this in the comments and stuff but it's always like oh to to move people between platforms is very very difficult yeah. like don't try and do that like yeah. people don't even click on tweets to go to youtube and things like that so to shift that many people and then also Watch for the salt the reason that people were salty was not because you left and it was like, he didn't say goodbye to us. It was like, oh shit, this is actually serious. Yeah. Like, he's actually shifting numbers, which yeah. is a problem for them. Dude, to, I mean, like, like, let's just look at the numbers, bro. Like, I was at, by the end of my Twitch life, I was averaging like 20 to 30K viewers like, every single day. And to be able to literally average 10,000 viewers on, on Mixer is like, it's astounding. Mm-hmm. That's because I, like, I, if you look at it before I made the Switch, Mixer had 5% mm-hmm. of total hours watched for streamers. 5%. So hypothetically, I should have had like 2,500, I should have 2,500 viewers every single mm-hmm. stream. And it's it's actually incredible. I mean, st- I still get people who are like, only 8,000, mm-hmm. only 9,000. I was like, homie, do you know how much, like, do you know yeah. how great that is on mm-hmm. this platform right now? And it's still growing? You're, you're leading the build. You know what I mean? So it's, they need to accept that. It's exciting, man. And we're really working on a lot of cool stuff to, to just obviously, the you know, take, um, Jesus Christ, yeah. you know, just take advantage of of the situation that Mixer's in right now and make sure that, you know, we got some, you know, great stuff coming out for the... I'll tell you what they could do with... The users. Oh, a, a live football show called yeah. The Kickoff. Oh, wow, that'd be just great. The, well, how awesome we, would that be? Can, uh, if, if they want to... It's that? info at truejordy.com. Yeah. Just right. give oh, us a... Fuck. We're going to get all those I emails. Can, <laughs> I could hook you up, man. <laughs> yeah? Do you oh, need a contact? Me, me. Yeah, we'd love me, a contact. They would, absolutely. Bro, yeah. they would... Lo- I mean, for, by the way, I would love to watch that. So we were sponsored Our live football show at the moment, we're doing... Is this happening right now? I think every week... 
we're doing like 35k live viewers on YouTube for our football oh. show, which is like really because n- no one's ever done that before. So I'm very proud of that. It's really nice. Yeah. So you're doing live shows. You're obviously showing the show. No, so no, we don't so show we, the football. Just, that's we the thing. just talk. We're about not it. even showing the football, yeah. and these fucking idiots watch us. Talking about it. <laughs> you stupid prince. <laughs> oh At God. least with you, it's like you can actually see the fucking game. No, with us, they- it's like we're playing a game or we're watching a game. We're just going. That was good. That was, that was <laughs> no, wow. really good. No, but we have like a debate about. Of course, what's going of course. On but obviously, the content's rich, yeah. and that's great. You yeah. guys should. I mean, just keep uh, uh, keep going, man. Let's that's chat. really. You guys can do some really cool stuff yeah. with that. Try We're to get sort of leading the way in football. I feel like now I'm we, proud of that. You are looking for a football team, though. Am I right? Yeah, I am. And uh, any Premier League club can come and pitch themselves t- to you. Am I right? Or are you sort of leaning towards? No, them? I'm 100 percent like open. So I, I would like to offer you for my me. team. <laughs> oh, that's actually, they're so like the Detroit Lions. To be honest, well. I think there's more chance of you buying my football team than them sponsoring you <laughs> yeah. at this point. I don't even mean sponsor. I just mean like some people should <laughs> plea for his, for right, his right, right. fandom. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, send some jerseys I, over, you know. I'm going to send you a yeah. football shirt. Bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. Newcastle United, Newcastle, where Brian comes from. They're black and white. They're black and white. Mm. It's quite cool. Detroit's a bit like oh, yeah. uh, Newcastle in that sense. You were born in Detroit, weren't you? Yeah, I was born. Yeah. Did my research. Let's go, bro. Yeah, wow. Wikipedia. Look at that. Incredible. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't grow up there, but my whole family did, and or my brothers grew up. Mm. Obviously, until they were like four, we moved, and I was a little baby. Where'd then, you move to? Uh, Illinois, man. Gurney. Been living there literally my entire life. Right. And that, like a twenty mile radius. You know, I want to talk a bit more about the brands because I'm fascinated by what you've done. Because I'm man. trying to get as many fucking big brand deals as I can. Yeah. How did you secure the bag? No. no <laughs> basically, yeah. Let me explain. Oh, 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 what what process? Because what I'm learning now is. You need to basically work with brands a lot closer. You need you really need to over deliver for them. You need to keep them happy, but you also yeah. you need to learn a lot about what you're bringing to the table. And I'm, yeah, you really need to know your own worth. Yeah, that. absolutely. And I that, still struggle with yeah. that, by the way. Yeah. I mean, it's I mean, tough, dude. Yeah. You, you went from you know working with smaller brands, and now now you have got uh, Red Bull and Adidas, which is fucking mind blowing. Yeah. What are you doing with Adidas, by the way? Uh, oof, I don't really can't really. We got we got we got some pretty cool stuff. So, so is yeah. it, it like? Can you even hint that it's clothing or trainers? Uh, or I like? can hint that it's stuff. It's okay. stuff that we might be able to wear. Wow. It's stuff that you might be able to wear. <laughs> no way, you're breaking ground again with Adidas. Yeah, yeah. No, wow, we can actually put this stuff on our yeah. bodies. You can put something on your body. So okay. the process you went through though to to go from those smaller deals to get those bigger deals. How did that? How did that transit? Because numbers is one thing. Yeah. But to be clever enough and to be have your shit together, let's let's like I said, big numbers are around on YouTube. Right. KSI, Logan, PewDiePie, they're all getting. My, you're the one doing these big deals. What are you, what were you learning in order to get them? I think brand. I mean, brand safety is very important to big those big brands. Mm. They're not going to take risks on people who are. Just write that down. Write that <laughs> write down. That down uh-huh. um, mm-hmm. You know. Uh, if PewDiePie did a big deal, he'd probably have to sign that he wouldn't go near any bridges or anything like that. Um, no, but for real, like you have to really brand safety is huge, and that's yeah. one thing that I know is you know we can't do anything too crazy, too risky. Um, and you're a safe guy though, because the, yeah, uh, the fact I, mean, I like know, to I like to I like that yeah have fun, man. Dangerously, but, yeah, yeah, but definitely do yeah safety is, yeah. That that's really the number one thing, man. Yeah. It's uh, in, the, in the game mm. in the gaming Literally. industry, my guy, man. Like it, it, like you were It's not like it's not like I'm um, these top uh, NFL and football athletes that it's like you just need. I mean, you need to be sponsoring the biggest guy because it's like that's how you're gonna. Yeah, he can get away with. Anything. He can get away with anything because yeah. it's like it's yeah. But gaming, it's it's you kind of have to. We're we're playing catch up a little bit. Yeah. Mm. So the safer, the better. And one thing I've learned as well, man, is you know they're happy. Uh, when you're happy and when you're happy, they're happy. And, and just to, to be passionate about doing the things like, you know, I like doing the posts for, for rebel and like, like when they're like, Hey, you need like an Insta post or like, it's like, I love that shit because I love Adidas and I love rebel. So it's not forced at all. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing for me too. Like I wouldn't take this, I wouldn't have taken any of these deals if I didn't actually enjoy the products. Yeah. Cause then that's just fake. And then you're, it's the whole, then it's, it's not even about, you're not passionate at all about it. Then it's literally only about the money and you wanting to be with a brand that big. Was there a point where you didn't think that you get to that point though? Because you are in such a lucky position. Every day of my life, bro. Literally meeting David Beckham. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, bro? How did I, I, you know what I mean? Like, dude, I, I was a middle class, average white dude playing video games like what come on man what like happened? seriously like no like my my only aspiration was to just be a good person like my parents raised me to be and and to just live right i love video games i played them i loved competing 
and fast forward, here we are. Did you, did you hook up with a management team to get you into those rooms? Oh, yes. Yeah. Dude, you can't do this alone, man. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, my, my, my amazing uh, loaded .gg, uh, they're, they're incredible, man. And yeah. they've been, they're the number one guys in the gaming industry. And they are now obviously getting even bigger. And that's how we were able to get even, you know, you got to know people too, though, mm-hmm. right? I mean, networking is the number one thing. Yeah. You got to go to the parties where they're going to be at. You gotta be. You gotta take be, the same drugs as them. Yeah, so like, I mean, you, yeah. Know, you gotta whatever it is. Just, 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 well, I would also just have swallow it, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, guys, a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. Uh, no. Sucked a lot of dick. Yeah. yeah. There was a lot. There was a lot of a uh, lot of really peni. The schmoozing. You yeah. know, when we go this out, is, he's the guy. To, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, Brian goes to parties and everyone just goes. Is he growling? I, <laughs> I just I just drink a lot and I just let Lawrence go and schmooze. Yeah, and then I take them back over and he goes. I'm having, a, I'm having yeah. a great time. This is going to be great. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. That must be a bit... Do you ever get put in rooms... I mean, you must get put in a lot of rooms with people... Yeah. ...where you... Are you ever having days where you're not feeling particularly sociable? Or you're sort of like... You know... I think we, there are... The only, there are some days where I just don't want kids in my green room. Yeah. And uh, if I had a dollar for every time I was like, all right, well, this is your green room. And there was like a kid in there waiting for me that oh. like someone who worked there like brought out... Bright-eyed, sort of like I'd have a lot of I had a lot of money because it happens a lot. Um, but and and <laughs> I, that's, a, that's a fuck on though. Like people shouldn't do that shit. Yeah, like, you're you're not Krusty the fucking clown. Do you know what I mean? Spider-Man. He's got the blue hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I got the blue. You're, you're Marge Simpson. That's, that's what everyone that's, needs to understand. That, people don't understand. Like even you coming on here. Like I had some requests. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's just like. I don't think people realize like just because kids watch you doesn't mean that your whole life is dedicated to kids. Yeah, as right. Well. Again, I usually you know I'll always take pics, sign yeah. whatever because I love it, and obviously like that's my fan base and stuff like that. And I'll never say no because that's just rude, right? I mean, he's 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 in there already. Like, let's mm. get this over with. Uh, but no, like, there are some days where I just don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to go sure. anywhere. I don't want to say hello to anyone. But I always will, and I'm usually always in a great mood. So those days never really happen. I was I was fascinated to know about like mentally how this has all impacted you as well because um you you seem really um like focused and a solid guy yeah man I, you know you take your days off when you need to uh have you had any issues with like the impact of social media where you're like this is just too much yeah i had like my first like anxiety attack the other day mm. like two weeks ago i've never really wow. fully experienced anxiety i don't i don't even know i don't even think there was a lot of stuff it was just like one thing that i was really worried about mm. and i had to travel the next couple of days and and i was in the car with my wife and i was just like i was like babe i'm kind of freaking the fuck out right now uh and you know she just had to talk me down everything yeah. right everything i was worried about but i'm usually really good and as long as it doesn't all obviously you know pile up and shit like that do you ever see um like therapists or anyone like that? i need to yeah i'd love to because i'm know, starting to realize that, how helpful it would be i'm starting to realize that myself of like because when, whenever you like watch high profile people uh, they always say, yeah, I see my therapist like once a month or whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like now realizing like when you get to a point where like so many people are watching you and they like, give a fuck about every th- little thing you do and you're under scrutiny like that, yeah. it's impossible as much as we are like strong-minded people right. to just walk through that. You can't. Yeah. I mean, I think that, I think that I don't even know, a, a wise person said this and I don't know who it was. Uh, I think everyone can use a therapist, man. Everyone. Everyone's got shit. Charlemagne the God, probably. Yeah. yeah. I think he's big. Everyone could use one. But definitely when, yeah, the people, YouTuber, dude, I think every YouTuber should have one. Um, <laughs> talk, that, talk that shit out. Yeah. Uh, but Some it, people use their audience as a therapist almost. Oh my God, which, man. Which please. I think is a really, it's quite an unhealthy relationship. I don't, I don't, I don't like a lot of that content. I don't like when people are like, those like exposed videos and like they're like talking like, like I don't know, man. You, your audience is not, your fans are not, you don't take advice from your fans. Mm, yeah. Like, I mean, truly, they're not you. They have not been in your shoes. Like, you, they, they, they usually look to you for advice. Mm-hmm. So to you to come and it's, it's a weird relationship. It's very it's unhealthy, friends, man. Yeah. It's very unhealthy. You, they need to see a therapist if you're trying to actually like get some help. Not yeah. the money coming into your life, right? So you've you've obviously you you said you come from a, a lovely family background. I watched yeah. interviews with your family. They seem great Thank people. You, man. They're awesome. Man. Very well adjusted background. Uh, the money comes in. You've always had this like determination, like laser focus. But when money comes, and you know you're an athlete, yeah. and, in, in in a sense. Has that changed your level of like, I need to keep doing this as much and win, win, win? Absolutely. I mean, I want to just set my family up and my friend and my friends up for, for life. Uh, I've been helping out. We've already helped out a lot of our family. And we're going to keep doing that. But yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, dude. I just want to keep. I mean, I just want to. I love. I just love it. I love doing. I love making money. It's awesome, man. It's great. So, so you, I don't even spend well, it. I was man. asking though. Was <laughs> Sorry, it, I, I think I messed up. I no, no. Just to be question. specific though, because for a lot of people, when they get money, boxers, like, the, the motivation goes mm. with you. I don't see any. Oh, story, absolutely though. not. I want to keep going now. Like I, I don't. I don't want a, a million brand deals. I actually love right now that my two big ones are are Adidas and Red Bull, and I kind of actually like that a lot. of like the little ones are starting to fall off a little bit yeah. because I can just focus on this. But yeah, no way, man. I want to. I want to keep going. I'm never gonna. I don't think I'm ever gonna actually just like stop. You got to build in the right way, really. But, right? Because I, listen, I, I have a fear. I've said this before. I don't want someone to come along and have done what I've done. Not. No, I'm sorry. Not have done what I've done. Not even have come close to the things that I've accomplished but somehow be like remembered more than me and or people think that they're like bigger than me wow. or their come up was bigger than me. And I feel like that will happen. I don't know why. I mean, so, so legacy is important. Mm. Yeah, man, absolutely. Especially because, yeah, 100%. Like I, I, like let's say just look at all my stats, everything that's happened, how many subs have gained you, everything. And then someone does like 20% of that. And, and then, but people are like talking like, I don't want to. I don't want. Oh man, this guy. It's like, fascinating. Being bigger than Ninja secures Be- that because we we did a so. uh, we did an so. interview with one of the heavyweight champions of the world in boxing, Tyson Fury, last, and he was saying the exact opposite as you. Not really. Uh, and yeah, but I'm looking at two basic champions, and this guy's going, "I couldn't give a fuck about legacy. It means <sighs> nothing to me. But I just want to keep fighting. It's it's the fight that actually is sucking, sucking me in. But um, no, it's fascinating because I'm I'm a bit more like yourself in that. Uh, I want to have a body of work. I want to. I want people to look back at what I've done and yes. be like, "That was a fucking hell of a ride that yeah. he had." Because there is a difference between hype and um, legacy, isn't there? I think in the moment, some people can get a bit hyped around something and feel like they're leaving a legacy. Yeah. And then you look back and you're like, "Oh, I was just gas. Like, yeah. I, I really thought that I was leaving something behind." No, I want to leave something behind, man, for sure, for sure. A lot because I just I don't know, man. People say don't care what you think, but what other people think about you. I very much care what people think about me. Well, because, we're in the industry. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm like being a good person, and, and a, that my you know my mom and dad raised me right. And like when I see people that, that don't like me, I'm just like, dude, I promise you, I promise you, bro, one beer with me, and we're best friends. Like, and you know, people that's and uh, to see when people are like, man, fucking, I'm like, God, man, what have I done to sort of bring this on, other than be good, right? And it's yeah. like I would love to know why you think that, and like let's just, I pro, like two minute conversation, bro, and you'll be like, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> but some people are just unhappy in their own lives, and that's where of you course, have to let I that go, that. isn't it? Because fi- yeah, I get a lot of tweets on myself, and I'm like, this is a reflection on you. This, yeah, is, man. I barely you watch like ten seconds of a video of mine, and you're going like crazy. Yeah. Like, 100%. This is, this is about your life, yeah, yeah Paul. It's like 50 50. You're going to have people who are just like what you just said, yeah. and then people who genuinely have an opinion. That, and it's in both of them. And it's like, listen, man, you're wrong, all right? I'm a good mm. person. <laughs> it's also, you, you kind of be worried if everyone liked you, because I think then you'd be a little bit too beige. Right. Or you'd be a little bit too. But it's you're almost boring if everyone likes you. Yeah, being a champion or being big or whatever you do is going to bring that hit regardless. Like we said about being. Of course. Everyone wants you to lose once you become the champ. But, you know, in terms of like. You're talking about people liking you. You got you got a close circle of friends. I see. I you. don't need it. I've, yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah. sorry. Keep going. No, I, I see you like gaming with kind of the like, similar people all the time. But are you ever worried that um, uh, people might use you because of what you become? Starting to worry that about that. If we kind of feeling that effect a little bit the last like year. We were like really analyzing a lot of stuff mm. and uh, and watching a lot. I mean, listen and do. I'm and this is dude. Like a lot of Drake's lyrics are really really good for people who are in his shoes or like my, yes like he, he talks about like you know only cut like everyone needs you when you're like you know loves you when you're on your you know you're the best you're on your way up and then it's like but when i need someone like no one's there for me it, it's like mm-hmm. it's so true man but it's lonely i mean it, is, it, it, is it, it lonely at the top i have a lot of great great friends i'm really honestly i, I keep telling myself that because i it's true man i got like tim and Tatman, my boy he, he you know he texts me all the time and he's just people so sound a little bit like this guy you do you do you guys are actually shut up kinda, he's a handsome guy it's yeah. Uncanny. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah um it's just like yeah, i have good friends man who mm-hmm. actually care about me and that's great and there but, are but, people but, who, but when people rely on you right because there's a trickle down when yeah. you're at the top of a, of a of a mountain almost you also don't want to come across as weak because they look up to you and 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 therefore sometimes i personally sometimes don't feel like i can be like that i have to be the strong one do you yeah. ever i don't know about you but do you ever feel like there's a little bit of a you can't show that sometimes um 
Yeah, a little bit. I think that to my, you know, to the true ones, the real ones, I've opened mm. up a little bit, and that's nice to like, you know, be reassured. Uh, but yeah, no, one hundred. Yeah, I mean, you got to feel that that sh- sense of you know hard. Ro- you got to be the the rock man, right? The, not the rock, not not <laughs> Dwayne. Mm. Oh, Dwayne. Uh, no, you got to be. You got to be like the you know sturdy. Definitely, because you build yourself up. You've you've gone from Tyler in becoming. No one this, likes this, being weak. This, no one likes being exposed. I mean, uh, vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. Vulnerable. this ninja guy as well. Though, like you have become this guy, and now sometimes when you become this person, you don't want to go back a little bit and be. I don't know. Do you, do you know what I'm I know saying? exactly what you're saying. Yeah, you. Yeah, you want to always move forward, right? Constantly yeah. move forward. Always move forward. Don't look back. Don't be weak. Don't uh-huh. kind of you know. Dig- is it regress? Yeah. Have people ever tried to sort of weasel their way into your circle and and, and get on the hype train? Have you seen that? I think a little bit. I think a yeah. little bit. Not, like, yeah, you're a great ninja. Yeah, yeah. Like the people who like invite <laughs> Shut up, Drake. Invite me every time I'm on. Nah, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually what I said, man. I, yeah. I, I was like, oh man, maybe I think you know maybe Drake like used me to get views. Someone a little funny story about that, man. Someone actually like put that idea in my head, and that was actually why I said it out loud. Oh fuck. He was so like, you were serious when you you felt when, serious when, when you said we, for literally for like five seconds. So yeah. a friend gassed you up a little bit, like yeah, he. Used Someone you. I was hanging out with was like, listen, man, he hang, you know like he hangs out with all the all the upcoming guys, man, just. Like check, like bro, like how did you not know you? And he was like, yeah, I mean, of course he used you. So like I was streaming and I said it, and I was like, no, 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 he didn't. But I said that uh, it was in my head, and then and then I was like, wow. And then fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I, he definitely didn't. He just wanted a game, and but I said it. Well, and maybe, the no, I said maybe it he is, did a little bit, but not in a not in a not in the way that it was put to you. So for example, yeah. Jay Z historically. If anyone's got any shine, all of a sudden Jay Z's collaborating with them. Right. Drake is a student of the game. He's going to say like, when someone's on their way up. Now the game's changed from rap into just everything social media. Yeah. He's going to be like, this is the guy. I, I, we both. When you collaborate in any way, whether it be on a song or in a game, and you're coming together to make a fucking special moment happen, like you two did, you're both going to benefit. Right. So as much as Drake is a, a big, huge star, and you're you're a star in your own game, but obviously Drake is another level in yeah, terms of world yeah, fame. Hundred percent. He's still going to benefit a bit from you. It's transactional, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. not like you're. So, but the, the way po- it was the point presented. that the person was making was kind of right, but they probably didn't do they you any favors. Very negative. Man, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest as well. Head. Like that was the thing that made you uh, piqued my interest of you, which is obviously massive for your Thank career. You. Yeah. Um, but like, right? No, it, it, dude, he did so much, man. He broke records it, what, with that shit. Yeah. So, do you want to apologize to Drake? Just down camera for <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry. <laughs> I, I've, I've apologized. I've apologized. Um, it, it must feel a little bit strange because you're also just putting rooms with other athletes here. Like you're on ESPN magazine. Yeah, yeah, well. ESPN. Like, God, that's pretty. Mental, it was cool. Actually, I don't know if I can say this. I got offered. Uh, uh, Come on, bro. A, a, a risky offer from ESPN. You might. You might. But yeah, to said, do the naked one. Yeah, yeah I said no. For now. Really, I'm gonna get ripped real quick. I'm, I, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm. I don't know, very. Uh, it's kind of off brand, so you know. Sure. <laughs> you have just, great for. I just had a bad image. Mean, I, mean, I haven't taken my shirt off yet, but yeah. like this podcast is gonna get it, real hot. There's other areas that are blue, if you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 I've got. I've Harvard got a, matches the Drake. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a mental picture of him holding like a control pad. Believe it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a good one. The problem is though, when you're in those, and I was considering because uh, that issue is very eye catching. Mm. Um, you, you're alongside like you know NFL players. And right. play these guys are ripped so cool. to be ripped. There's oh, like, yeah. yeah, that must be wild. <laughs> it was, man. I, yeah. I little, I dude, I'm no, no joke. Again, with the Adidas thing, I brought, like, we kind of touched on this almost right away. I really do feel like I, I should, you know, get in shape. Like, yeah. I am not out of shape, but I'm definitely not in shape. And yeah. I, and I, you know, to. You're skinny fat. It's fine. Don't worry about no, but, it. Yeah, you're getting I'm, I'm scat, dude. No, sure, this yeah. is the thing, though, right? Um, for your mental, like, side of things, I, I bet it would make you better at everything in your life. Just a little bit. A lot of gamers, there are a lot of Call of Duty guys and, and, and gamers that like, they, 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 it's like, it's infectious, bro. They just start getting fucking ripped, bro. Mm-hmm. They start eating like protein shakes every morning and they're just like, yo, mom, go hit the gym. Guys, I'll be right back. They come back like an hour and a half later. They're like, all right. And then like six hours later, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit the gym round two. I'm like, what the hell? And you see pictures that are just jacked out of their mind. Like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, you start I, working I out. You, you don't need great. to go like that though. I know, I know. Just, just once or twice a week's enough. Yeah. I want to try. This is one thing, like I want to use my money wisely, right? I hate, I'm never going to blow it ever on like stupid shit and we're, we're doing a really good job of that honestly besides like we like you know clothes I think that's probably what me and my wife spend our most most of our money on is honestly designer Louis shit Louis Vuitton and shit oh yeah we love it man it's great well yeah it's great but just need to start using it like I want I want a, I want a full time chef man right who will just make me the, the healthiest food 
yeah. so no matter what like it isn't it is impossible for me to be unhealthy and be like fat how do you eat right now like cause it's very it's 50 50 man i'll probably say like fast food once or twice a week and then a lot of a lot of uber eats but we uh-huh. make sure we have you know salads and other like really healthy food i'm not ordering you know super disgusting fatty foods all the time sushi things like that so do you get to see a lot of you know in traveling do you, do you get to go to the places you actually want to go to or are you just sort oh, of yeah. in a hotel back out the hotel i love love dinner and drinks i'm a huge huge let's go out to a nice restaurant get some great food and have some awesome mm-hmm. some beverages if you need some hookups in london i know some we had we yeah. hit this place called milk and honey last night yeah it's good huh oh, oh man it's good incredible cocktails it's great so i like a mojito just saying. Good morning. Just saying. <laughs> that fell out of context, uh, but it was good. Well, like that, that. That'll be clipped though. Gotcha, just yeah. a gotcha, get some drinks tonight? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. For sure. Um, we've got, um, actually, I've got one, one question about, because right. I was looking in your journey and I was like, where's the struggle here? Where's the, where's the you know what I mean? Because everyone seems to have something, because yeah. when they're as determined as you. Yeah. Um, and I found it quite interesting that you had a detached retina oh my God, at dude. one point. That was interesting. That. No one even knows how shitty your eyesight is everything that we're getting yeah it's says, dude it was really i think i want to say and i don't throw this word around i'm pretty sure i i I was depressed for a little bit for sure uh after the surgery i had to be so they put a gas bubble in your eye and then gravity does the work so you how how did how did this happen sorry just no idea really my mom's on my mom's side of the family there there's like a, a history of of eye law, eyesight loss in like one eye. Right. And I'm pretty sure it's because back in the day you couldn't figure out what a detached retina was. So it just kind of happens. You can get it from, there are like three things. If you have diabetes, you're a higher chance of getting it. If you get like knocked in the face, you have a higher, you have a higher chance of getting it. So like, so <laughs> no like, bo- so like a lot of MMA fighters and boxers, if I were them, like I'd be getting my eyes checked after every fight. Um, but yeah, because if you discover right away, bro, it's it's like a quick little laser and you're done. Like no recovery. But mine was like full, fully detached, like a couple more days or weeks. They said I would have been blind and uh, in, the, in my right eye. So like they, boom, the surgery. I had to be awake through the whole thing, which is terrifying. Uh, they put gas in your eye. I had to look down for a month. I had literally all day, 12 hours a day. And then, and then for the first week of sleeping, I had to sleep with my head down. Because the gas bubble, when you look down, the gravity would push up right. against your retina, kind of like glue, right? When you hold, you know, you're trying to glue it. something, yet, so you have to like kind of hold it down. It was terrible, terrible, dude. Fuck. I was hell. alone in my apartment for a month, like just not moving. Were you, were you with your wife at this point? Girlfriend at the time, uh-huh. and she was there for the first week. Jesus. My brother, actually, I always give my brother shit, man. He left, he left me for like a week, right when it happened. He's like, all right, I'm gonna go hang out with. I think he, I don't know if it was his girlfriend he was going to see, but he, he left yeah. me for like a week. So then Jess came down and like took care of me. You must have been pretty shocked though when that. First I still happened. can't see out of my how, eye very well. How frightened? I was terrified. Were yeah. you about the game in Korea? Oh, it was. I, it was. Or I just was, was it life in terrified, general? man? I kept asking. I kept asking every time I went back, and I was like, okay, will I be able to like really see out of my eye, like f- like actually good vision? And they never really could answer. It. I was so. They're like, the I mean, yeah. I mean, I can see, like, I can literally, see, I can see you guys perfectly. I can kind yeah. of read those big ass letters, and, um, but it's bad. Really? Wow, dude. But, I was. What people don't know as well, man. Is like, I mean, I, everything happens for a reason. Thank God, because who knows if I would be here today if it didn't happen? Because I was streaming the Destiny beta and the alpha. I was getting like three, four thousand viewers. Yeah. This was when I was getting like 300, 400 viewers playing Halo. And then when I switched to the alpha and the beta of Destiny, I was. Popping I, remember, I spent so much ready time bro you know when my surgery was the opening day of destiny so when i come back a month and a half later no streams for a month and a half i'm averaging like 300 viewers again wow and i and i, and I kept grinding for like three months straight Ugh. literally 16 hour days no shit and like i started peaking at like 500 and then when other people and then there are other people who were playing destiny who are at like 8k 9k i'm like 10 times better than them and i'm just like god dude if only everyone where were you during the open like oh whatever man i, I know because the competitor in you must have been like i was kind of see it yeah yeah I dude i was it. so pissed man yeah. I was, it was so let down bro like that's your shot right that's like that's like someone who's in college and they're about to be drafted yeah. and then they freaking you know tear their acl or some mm. shit and then they don't ever get drafted the, like, the opportunity was ripped from oh it was you. right there oh destiny came back though destiny so. D- uh, it's good yeah the bait I spent ages on that bait. It was now. so much fun, yeah, bro. I loved it. Oh man, what a missed opportunity though with like Destiny. I mean, I wish they. I think they fucked it basically. Should have had sixty F or more than sixty frames. I mean, they did a great job. The PC is actually good. I like the game. I watch it a lot. Obviously, you play the most Fortnite. Yeah. What else do you actually enjoy? Modern Warfare, the new COD, bro. Love it. 
mm-hmm. love it great game gunfight is hands down the greatest playlist of all time just two v two one round like one life around the weapons are random it's so much fun yeah i want to ask you a little bit about your wife i'd love to that yeah. seems to be like when we looked at the the research that we did on you this is the sort of turning point almost a little mm-hmm. bit um what impact did she have on you everything man she she's just everything she's supportive mm-hmm. supportive uh you know uplifting kind smart she she I, i'll never forget the day i was playing uh you know when she decided to manage me and, and i was playing h1z1 i was in the middle of a game and i just like auto i was on an auto run and i all tabbed and i was answering an email a sponsorship email while on stream while playing a game because i you know i didn't have it was t- and it was with uh it was a g fuel mm-hmm. and uh and i was averaging like two thousand viewers so like i was definitely starting to blow up a little bit with h1z1 and they were like yeah we'll give you like a percentage of what you sell but we mm-hmm. won't actually pay you anything at all over salary and and, and, <laughs> and i was deals and i and like oh yeah and i didn't send the email yet in my response but i misspelled like eight words and jess looked it over and she's like tyler what the fuck are you yeah. Like I will do this. I will handle this if you if you want. I was like, please. And then she sent like a super respectful email back and and um fast forward now, you know, jokes on you. But mm. <laughs> that was the moment when she started to manage me. And now dude, I mean I'd be I'd be lost without her. I think a lot of streamers say that and a lot of like about their wives when because you, dude, we're just we're in our own world, man, for like eight, twelve hours. Like we don't know what's going on. Like I could come upstairs and they could be like, "Yeah, dude, nuclear war is going on right now. Like, you missed it." Like because you just don't. You're really just out of it when you're streaming. And she just keeps me in the loop, man. Every day, love her to death, man. It, it feels like uh, they need to be a fucking seriously understanding partner to, to be a part of what you go through. Because dude, you, your priority, special woman. You're the you're the star. You're the priority, and like. Some women, some husbands, some men, whatever, they just can't be that like player who is assisting. Like it's they can't a, be it takes a lot of yeah. give, right. a lot of give, give, give. It is a lot of give, man. The great thing is though, is I see there are a lot of women that come up to her and guys that come up to her when we're out and they're just like, Oh my god, Jess, I love you so much. And I think that's all that's 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 all she that's all she cares about. Mm-hmm. Like is, is that is she's just so happy that that she's people are looking up to her as well mm-hmm. if not more looking up to her than they're looking up to me and she loves that because obviously who wouldn't um and she does a great job man and a and dude you're right it takes a special special person mm. to do to understand being with a, a gamer and a a, a streamer because like, she's been with you for a long time as well it we've wasn't been together like, i think seven years yeah, now it's and not like the blow up happened and then some model come along like, so you know many I mean? people don't know about that either yeah. man I, she gets comments on her instagram gold digger i'm like what the fuck are yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, she, she is oh, digging gold but oh, she's man, just she's, she's, yeah she's digging dude. she didn't she, know it was there she bought the land she yeah, just no, didn't know yeah. she, dude, yeah. she struck oil no we, <laughs> yeah dude no we oil spot but there's gold there's diamonds in the land she talks about it all the time man we it's dude we we love each other we loved each other before everything and here we are man it's mm-hmm. like good investment yeah <laughs> you're, you're kind of like uh yeah i guess you're like gaming royalty as, the, as king and queen there i like that dude mm. power we, we we talk about it a lot because mm. we love the word man like power couple yeah. like i love i love what i do i love how i do it and i love what she does and she's just she's dude, she's a strong woman man yeah. like i cannot explain how much of a of a bitch i was like in terms of handling situations and like my communication was terrible before i met her and she just made me uh just smarter happier and more intelligent and she, changed she my views you become a man sort of thing 100 percent, man yeah. i mean i used to have the stupidest views on a lot of like controversial topics and and like and now she's just dude i i, I just equal i mean i've always been about equality obviously but now it's just everything man i just happy person Every, just live your life yeah. and just don't you know don't be a little bitch mm-hmm. she seems to have foresight like she she's, can really see how yeah. things are going to play out type thing she taught me yeah man she, I run all my tweets by her everything by her because <laughs> she'll just be like Tyler let me tell you how they're going to see this <laughs> and I'll be like no you're wrong and I'll tweet it out and then I, she's like delete it delete it delete yeah. it the first like four comments are what were you yeah. like shit she's, she's got it down that's man. handy to have someone who's got that ability to look down the street and around the corner for you because um a lot of people just don't have that around them, and that's how you see uh, influencers fucking it up for yeah, themselves. Yeah, you really, dude. A lot of passive aggression here, but fair play. <laughs> All right. A lot of uh, yeah. a lot of you, no, a lot of YouTubers that, you know, I mean, the Pauls and they, 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 their their girls aren't these geniuses who are like, 
I mean, but then again, you don't even do like I I don't even know what they they probably just do it all for the for the for the for the I clout like, and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they get their names out there. Like I think no, they know. They live- and I even think they're women and are like, if you do this, like it's gonna blow. Up. That's the funny like, thing. Is- so like I mean, technically they're kind of like. I well, mean, after getting to know the, the, the Paul brothers, I don't think Jacob's a flying fuck, no. uh, if I'm honest. After I don't know if his wife does the, either. I don't think... <laughs> yeah, his I wife. Think, I love that. His, yeah, they're they're, they're not... Are they actually... They're, they're not married. Not married. Um, <laughs> but when you... The um, way you said that, I was like... They're, yeah, they're not married. But, um, <laughs> you know, they? I don't think Jacob's... I think Very um, real wedding. Logan, on yeah. the other hand, is sort of leaning towards that... Um, He's, he's on a smart road now. I, I can't think. believe the difference in his energy in just under a year since you did the podcast with him yeah. the year before and then the podcast I, I, I discovered. I, I think I mentioned this that. I discovered you when you were doing all the interviews and shit for their first fight. It was yeah. super, awesome, super awesome, man. Nice and one, man. Dude, I, I'm, 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 I'm happy for him. Logan, I want him to not mess up. He's, Me too. he's doing a good job right now. He's in a good spot. He's a good guy, you know. That's the thing that people don't get. I haven't met him get. yet. I haven't met him yet. I, I wouldn't say this unless I really fucking yeah. believed it. He's he just actually says some of the weirdest shit, though. Yeah, dude. mate. I mean, he's odd, but you know, <laughs> he's a good. He's actually like he's in his heart. Sociopath. He's not a bad person, but my god, has he fucked up before? But yeah, he's actually he's writing it. Now. I would just like to. Yeah, I would just like for him to do some good stuff, mm. right? I feel yeah. like yeah, that is be a good influence. Do some, you know, like just do good things, and and uh, that would be great. And then don't just come off as the cockiest person on the planet, yeah. Yeah. which is what, which is unfortunate because they're actually we're in the business of being a little cocky shit. Uh, That's exactly what it is when you're, especially when you're boxing, bro. Like, oh, oh man, oh, I just want a good fight. No, I mean you got to talk shit. So yeah, like, it's yeah. kind of unfortunate. That it's a bit he, like you when you were streaming back in the day. Like, oh, you yeah. have to give it. You know what I mean? And yeah. <laughs> do you feel? Do you ever watch your own street? Because Brian's very self-critical and a lot, of, a lot of people are self-critical. How often do you watch your streams back and sort of go, hmm, I need to fix this? I, I never watch that. my own streams, man. Really? I watch like my YouTube videos because my editors do a great job and like they mess around with a lot of, you know, effects and I want to yeah. see how the videos are. Um, no, I don't like, I don't like watching my own stuff. Wow. I like the, like the, the actors who don't like watching, like I don't do, I don't, besides Family Feud, I love watching my Family Feud episodes because I love Family Feud. Um, a great show. But uh, <laughs> when you won that, yeah, I, I, dude, I was. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's only two people in the world who have been on the regular Family Feud and the Celebrity Family Feud. <laughs> Uh, wow. yeah. I was I second though. Proud. You're really this pushing the boundary. So much pushing the boundary. No one knows that. Like family Feud, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, What's yeah. the game you're best at? Fortnite? No. Family, family Feud, feud bro. We killed me and my brother are fast money legends, man. We we killed that shit. Yeah. Um. No, but I watched back a lot of my. I mean, uh, I was on Mass Singer. I was didn't. I didn't want to watch my episode. I don't want to see myself on TV. Like mm. surreal in a way. Yeah. yeah. I am on a, I'm in a movie though with Ryan Reynolds. I have a scene with him. Which movie? Wow. Uh, it's It's called Free Guy. It's coming out in 2020. Trust me, it's going to be a dope movie. They have a lot of top YouTubers, gamers, mm-hmm. and streamers who are in it. And Not all it's, of them. It's very authentic. I thought you did really well on that. It's um, very authentic, man. Yeah. Was it, were you on Jimmy Fallon on one of those guys? My boy Fallon, dude. Yeah, you the, did well. One like of the that. nicest guys, man. Mm. Just a good dude. I love Fallon. Love him. Yeah. I've been on there three times now. Looking back at your life, let's say we, we, they make this into a movie. Huh. Um, and you know how, um, you know, in the journey movies, which is definitely what you're on, there's a, there's a turning point. There's a moment which uh, sort of seems to be the switch or the the difference between the, where the journey was going and where it ended. What would that be for you? That turning point, switching from competitive Halo to H1Z1 and streaming that game. That changed. That set up everything. Battle Royales. Like I, I kind. I mean, a little. I guess I kind of got lucky. Not really lucky. I'm mean, kind of maybe. Like I got on the hype of battle royales like right when they first started out. Mm-hmm. Like, H and Z one was the first big one that really popped off, and mm-hmm. and that was when I I, w- I was just playing the survival mode. I wasn't even playing the battle royale. I was just like running around kill- killing zombies, and like it was really fun. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I saw like an immediate viewer increase after like a week, and and that was definitely the light bulb. That was the light bulb for sure. And my brother, man, he's so smart, Chris. He told me forever. He's just like Tyler. You're so good at every video game. You're so funny. Stop streaming Halo. Stop competing in Halo. Start playing popular games, and and, and you'll blow up. And I was like, All right. feels like your brother had was part of the turn. He's a genius, then. man. Chris is so <laughs> smart. Yeah, he, and he's been he's been a huge supporter of me too. My brother John supports me too. But one of um, your brothers was really good at Halo as well. Am I right? Um, you know, John would tell you he thinks he's good <laughs> yeah. at Halo. Uh, I watch interviews with these guys. They're like, yeah, he's number one, but I'm like number three in the world. <laughs> nah, I was like, nah, okay. John, that's John, man. He's so silly, dude. No, man, no. I, he's never been better than me at anything. <laughs> I was 11 years old, whooping his ass in Halo One. He would drop the control or in the middle of a game when I'm running the flag back and then beat me until I drop the controller mm-hmm. so that he could respawn and then get you know catch up to me and return the flag like, wow bro he's, he's been he, I've been better than him forever and he knows it I love you John alright my next question 
and this is a bit morbid, but I, I was just thinking about this last night because of what you do every day. If you die tomorrow, lit touch wood doesn't happen. Do you think you would have any regrets? Because some people, obviously not our age group, but some people would suggest that spending the length of time, not ga- not gaming, but the sheer amount of time that you spent gaming wouldn't be really making the most use of your life that you could have done would you regret not going out and doing other things as much and focusing so much just on sitting in front of the screen gaming no way man i love everything i love my life bro i don't regret anything man if i would if i wish i wouldn't even change anything i wouldn't go back if i go back i'd I'd just love to live it again like i loved all the games i played growing up i have so many great memories my best friends like landing and shit there's I, I mean, hell no, man. I thought you might say that. I just wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, um, Flossing with so many people. Of course, oh, fuck, bro. Happen. You had to bring that up. Yeah. One regret. <laughs> One regret, dude. <laughs> I'm so regret. sorry I had to say Frickin it. Frickin' New York City, dude. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Man, my, heart, my heart went out to you for that. I felt like someone had died. That my, felt a little bit listen, like the My thing. team... And the New Year's guys, the New Year's team, right? The team, they're like, listen, oh, dude, they're all going to dance with you, man. They, they're out there. They're wearing diapers. They're shitting themselves. They'll do anything. Trust me. <laughs> they'll floss with you. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good thing is that, when people are out there wearing yeah. diapers, that shitting reminds themselves. Me of Rory. You go, do, you know, do, you know when, do you know my mate Rory, our mate Rory, who just convinces you of any old bollocks, but yeah. it's not true. Yeah. So they, they're bullshitting you at this point. And I was like, are you sure? Trust me. Oh God! Go out there and no one's dancing, and then I I should, dude. Oh, I should have read the room, man. (laughs) It's a big room. I should have read. I should have read the room. I was walking through. Everyone's just no one's moving Mm -hmm. on the way up there. Everyone's just like cold as shit, Mm -hmm. pouring rain. Yeah, (laughs) and so the front guy, come on, everyone, come on. I'm not seeing enough movement. Oh my God! (laughs) Oh, son of a bitch! It's like, oh man. Uh, dude, I think you have to have those moments in life though. Like <laughs> it, it makes you like when when we get embarrassed, like I've had some really embarrassing moments online, like you just have to fucking like own them oh, I, dude, that's, and I, move on. I learned that real yeah. fast. Mm. It, um, it's a bit of that Ellen. No, I, I choked thing. a little bit for a first for the first year. Did you not nail the floss? No, no, I went against the ligma and shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh man, that was so stupid of me. There's like, I mean, there are like li- but you know what I mean? I learned from that, right? And so when I went, that's I too I tweeted, I was like, God, I need to tweet. I need to make fun of myself immediately. <laughs> yeah. I ran back up to the room, grabbed my phone. I was just like, don't ever do this shit. Like, <laughs> oh, man, it, it was so good. If I would have went against that, man, I would have been me. I honestly, who, I might not even come back from that. Yeah. yeah. No, tru- truly. Like, yeah. honestly, if I went, if I, yeah, yeah, if I went, yeah, it would have been bad. Mm. But, you know, everyone kind of still is just like, they'll throw it around. Like, my, my chat, my boys, and when I'm gaming, they're just like, you know, I'll floss in the game like in Fortnite and they're just like we're not in New York man. I'm just like that's your move because when you're when you when you're doing so well those one times you do fall over like people remember it because it's so rare that it happens so I I guess take it as a compliment as well like yeah Yeah. good one one of my biggest messes I I was flossing in front which hey dude listen that was a bucket list thing bro I've never been in New York City for a a New Year's and I was not I was a part of it bro Mm -hmm. like I was up there like that was cool as shit Mm -hmm. I remember we were like watching like this guy's taking over the fucking world it did feel that way that's what it felt like yeah Yeah. no it was like that for us too though (laughs) it wasn't like you were the only one you were just living it oh, do man. you with those sort of things do you get a lot of advice from obviously you got advice from people around you but when you meet other athletes or other people you get much advice from them or is it just literally not really i mean listen dude i'm older than 90 percent of the athletes in, in the in the world <laughs> besides like, i guess football uh, is a little bit older right yeah it, it can be but yeah man dude i mean nfl bro they're 90 90 percent are their kids i'm not gonna mm-hmm. advice from them. they don't they don't they don't even know what they're who doing. do you get advice from i don't really get advice from anyone man like I really like I've had a, like I mean mellow a little bit with like to like um just not, not not there's not 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 no one really man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dude I don't hang out with celebs literally Jeffrey Star man great dude he, dude he, really what the fuck is he like because he comes across as weird he as is fuck. funny as fuck yeah. bro literally you want to just he just he just smokes all the time and 
uh, and just is the nicest dude, man. And just he's got a dark jokes. sense of humor, though, honey. That's, it's hilarious. Yeah. It's very funny. He knows how to be. He know. My favorite part is like he's obviously like, "Hey guys, how are you? Like, welcome." And like it's funny. Like when I love my favorite part when we're hanging out is when he'll just like he'll be like, "What the fuck you said to me?" Like he'll, <laughs> like he'll, he like brings back his really oh, yeah. the real so, Jeffrey comes yeah, out. Do you know what so I mean? So funny, dude. This I is love Jeff. it. This is Jay. I call him. <laughs> I call him Jeff. I called him Jeff on accident, man. And, and he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, sorry, bro. And he's just like, he comes yeah. across as quite like flip floppy on people. Though. That's the only thing that would, I'd be wary of, of a guy like that because I've seen I think him, if you cross just him be so yeah. nice to people I, I, and then be a cunt to them within a fucking minute. You, we don't, hey, listen, one thing I know, especially hanging out with him, man, like some of the shit that goes on that isn't talked about. All right. When you flip on someone, it's because he's been crossed, man. And All like, right. So there's, there's, it's deeper than what yeah, he's letting on. In the on. makeup industry, bro, I, I, I mean, it's I've terrible. been, di- it's, dude, it is, it, dude, it's, it's, it's Dark shit, bro. <laughs> you, there's so many. I mean, no, no one is really rooting for you in the yeah. industry. Like, ooh, this palette is so nice, and it's like deep down, they're like, I want my own palette. Like, yeah. it feels like they're because. All right, let's become because it's like a bitchy place because of the nature of the characters who go there, yeah. and then because they're fighting over tens of millions of pounds, like, yeah. It's for keeps there. They're, they're not to them it's, as much as it's funny dude, it's to me because they're fucking arguing for making. <laughs> it, it's so serious because it's there's so serious. much money on the line. With yeah, these I mean, dude. Yeah, Shane bagged like twenty mil or something like that. That rubbed me the wrong way. Of that because I felt not. That I was I, a little like I, I'm like all for him making money. Yeah, it was the setup. I felt like this documentary that they made about it, I felt like, they're like, oh, maybe I should release a makeup line. And yeah. by the time we've got this edited, it's it'll ideal. be ready to launch yeah. the day we finish Listen, the last episode. Incredible. Like, marketing. don't get me wrong, as a marketing campaign, it, dude, genius, l- but don't lie, don't lie yeah. about the fact that you're just so happening to decide on this halfway through a documentary. Yeah. Tell us at the start, we're making and we're going to go through the whole process together. Yeah. Instead of like, I felt like that was just a lie to their own It was telegraphed. Listen, nah, I think that's, that's just Shane that's just Shane being dramatic bro like yeah. he's just a, he's that's him man he's super super dramatic I've spoken it's to just, him before and about that it'd be fair yeah, it's, it's just who he is man yeah. he's never gonna change and he doesn't you know he shouldn't change it's, that's that's what he likes that he's he like, makes, he uh, makes YouTube into yeah. a thriller like, yeah. you know, I'm like, <laughs> you're making makeup bitch Dude. it was 20 minutes of just <laughs> it did, it, it, about, it, yeah. it, it, I loved it though man it was fun my wife loved that that whole thing too yeah. but I mean watching it it took me a while to like really get into it yeah. and then once I actually started it seeing him like start to dive in and actually learn how to do the makeup so, well so that's that was my own Shane Dawson is a bit of a genius yeah. right so I'm not trying to take anything away of from what they've not, done yeah. but if you could just start the documentary when it starts and right. not film every fucking like picking what in, foods plane, in your teeth for 45 minutes the plane ride thing was but, hilarious we oh, were watching man, first watch, episode bro and the plane. I literally looked at my wife the first 30 minutes of that and I was just like yeah Get on the plane, Shane. This was too, yeah. <laughs> that was exactly what Mate. we said. We were literally like, like Shane, why is, is this so this dramatic? Is, this we is also, an edit that should be like five cuts, like boom, 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 yeah. on the plane. But we also know he's getting off the plane because we've seen him afterwards. Yeah. It's not like the plane, we don't know if the plane crashes or not. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's he's a goofball, man. Come yeah. on, get on the plane, Shane. Yeah. Right, you're going to be all right. <laughs> but we, don't, we don't know his anxiety, though. You know, maybe yeah. he truly could have been terrified and he wanted to portray that in the show, in the you know, in the documentary. Maybe someone related I, I to give that. It, I give it up to him. He's been here for a long time and he is one of the top creators literally an OG bro like yeah. I mean it's crazy to see how he looked like 10 years ago he's been doing this shit for a long time so good good on him for finally making his nut I've got one last question let's go bro I have to take a massive dump oh, alright that's fine right. it, like oh my god he's going in such a long line of people who have taken massive shits oh, after yeah. a podcast it's um, amazing let's go we'll, alright we'll make we'll, we'll make it a good one then alright let's go how would you like to be remembered Oh, just uh, one of the greatest gamers of all time, man. If not the greatest, but that'll definitely not happen because, again, that line, like, what we don't, again, we kind of don't really know what, like, competitive gamer, streamer, like, what, what, where would I be? But just as long as it's like, yeah, man. I mean, he was, like, the first. You're, you're, you're in the Hall of Fame. I think we can guarantee that. As long as I don't fuck up, man. Let's go. Pog. You know? <laughs> just be, I mean, it shouldn't be hard. Yeah. You know, just I'm not a bad person. So as long as I don't do stupid shit and that, you know, is against my character, I think I'll be all right. Do you, do you think you'll always be in gaming or do you think there'll be a point where you oh, cut dude, off? Dude, I mean, I'm already in some movies now. I think I'm in two. 
one i don't know if i'm in the other one yet expendables let me just get ripped out of my mind give me like a year bro but it's not only that he's not he's not actually with them he's just flying a drone yeah. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> that would be sick, I'm, the guy, I'm the guy in the in the in the you know behind the computer yeah right, exactly right? you're in the info center instead Dude. yeah like uh, it's time sylvester to drop out the yeah. bus and he's you're, like you're what getting the fuck carried away fine i'm just saying we can write the movie i want to be i want to do everything i want to do everything and anything but i'll never fully leave gaming i will be playing video games until i'm dead mate it's been an absolute pleasure Dude, you've been fantastic this has been great man oh. like i could literally do this every day yeah, yeah. mate we do it's fantastic it's yeah. great it's I a just, great I, life you've been a great guest i thank really you, appreciate it really, yeah. dude thank you guys for having me man i really want to be here so yeah we'll do another one soon well, well, i'd love to i'd All love right. to yeah drinks tonight um, boys if you haven't already, subscribe to this guy on uh, Mixer and go and check him out and all of that sort of stuff. And uh, you're going like, to notice a big spike in numbers. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, we do good numbers. Yeah, we do. Good like numbers. the podcast. Subscribe to us. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Thank, Thank you, guys. So Dude, you guys are great, man. Seriously. Holy shit, I had so much fun. Can I just say that was better than any other interview you've done? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna advertise that shit.